Yo, bro. Tell mm-hmm. me something. Recency, recency bias is crazy, bro. How are you claiming these new Amamanier Jordan 4 Phantoms that you haven't even seen yet are better than the Amamanier 3? Tell me, bro. Tell me, bro. Welcome back to the Shoot Up Podcast, episode 125 with me and the bro, 808 Kicks 80. Make sure you do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to us. Let's have a conversation. Let's break it down like we always do. Please do follow the bro, 808 Kicks underscore ATL and obviously Love Kick Customs. Uh, thank you for all the love and support that you guys are showing us. But yo, bro, let's just, let's just address this from the offset, right? Let's just off the cap this, bro, because... Recency bias is crazy. Like you haven't even seen those at, like Amamania Jordan Four Phantoms, and you're saying that they're better than the Amamania Jordan Three, probably one of the greatest sneakers outside the OGs Jordan Three range. And you say it's hold better on. than that, and you haven't hold even on, touched on. it. You haven't even hold touched on. it. Come on, see. Out, bro. We gonna we gonna get to that. We gonna get to that too, because that's that's a big part. That's a big part of. We got to talk about today, but first, I do yes. want to let y'all know yes, we yes, did yes. come to take over the world. Indeed, yeah, we, we came to take over the world because that's what and we always today, had to do. <laughs> always, and today we got a little bit of help from North of the border. Oh, y'all know, y'all know oh, TJ. Oh. TJ rep the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rep the US. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, before but we got some. E, 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 e represents East Africa. Shout out to E got souls, right? We no, got no, we touch we, it. No, you know, we, we got, we got satellites. We everywhere. We, yeah, we, we got satellites. Everywhere, bro. <laughs> that, so we got satellites. We got Mars. We got Mars over there in the Netherlands. Hmm. Yeah, we yeah, got yeah, Scott yeah. Yeah. Ireland. Uh, Scotland. 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 <laughs> Scotland. Not De- Ireland. Je- 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 Jenny, Jenny's from you know, Dublin, from, Ireland. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, Jenny, yeah. Jenny's yeah. from Ireland. Scott is in, not from, but in Scotland. Scotland. Scott, Scott is in Scotland. I'll be yeah, trying okay, not to bro. say that because it's, 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 it sounds too funny. I it's too it. ironic. I say it. I say it. Yo, sorry, Scott. I have to go do this. Every, t- every time I call him, right, I go to him, yo, well, Scott, he's got from Scotland. How you doing, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Right. There's too many S's in that, bro. Yeah, I, right, okay. I ain't gonna Sorry, lean Scott. on Scott. I ain't gonna lean on Scott on the joke uh, on the inside joke on the inside joke that you just made outside. I ain't gonna lean on Scott. However, However. we had to call we had to call in some some extra guns. You hear me? Yeah. Some extra ammunition, not extra, 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 Some extra. <laughs> <laughs> from north of the border uh, north the big CA representation is necessary ladies and gentlemen and we have no better representation for the big CA Canada that is than none other than Grail Status himself in kicks we trust rich joining hey. us on the shoot dog podcast. What's good? What's welcome, good? Rich. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast, Rich. How are you doing today, Rich? I'm chilling, man. You know, it's like you know, y'all can see I'm in the yard. You we know, can enjoying see enjoying the weather. Enjoying I, I, the beautiful weather. <laughs> we you know, can you know see. what? Ch- chilling like a but villain the- has never been emphasized better than today because he's outside and we're inside. That, that's the, not good. For the audio <laughs> for the audio listeners. Y'all don't want to watch this episode because Rich is outside. He and he and he kicked back. I don't know. He may have a beverage. He may or may not have a beverage in front of him. You know, y'all know I floss my beverages, but uh, the man is out there kicking it real nice, looking real nice out there, bro. Oh, I don't, I don't like how comfortable you are on the part right now. Super, yeah, like super said, comfortable. That's, super that's comfortable. why I said he's. Sh- that's why he's chilling like a villain. He just needs that white cat to stroke on his lap, and that's it. He's a Bond villain. <laughs> there you go, bro. 
<laughs> he's even oh. gonna laugh. He's Rich is even gonna laugh for it. Gonna be. <laughs> <You already know. laughs> Rich is even gonna laugh for it. That 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 evil antagonist yes. laugh. There you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, what 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 part of Canada exactly are you repping here today, Mr. Rich? Um, in terms of where I'm at, you guys probably wouldn't know. Everyone would be familiar with Toronto. Um, I'm probably about an hour and a half outside of the city. Um, okay. Little, yeah, a little, okay. uh, I guess, I don't, town, I, I mean, I'm used to town, but uh, Hamilton is where I live at. But for everyone that's not familiar, Toronto. I'm about an hour and a half outside of Toronto, so. Okay, cool, cool, No, cool, ain't, cool. see, 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 this this girl full of tar right here. And see, normally, this is what happened in the sneaker culture, because a lot of the, the people in the sneaker culture, the demographic is skewed a lot. We all realize that, right? Yes, sir. Like the people who really consume the sneaker culture the way that we all do, because we all around the same age. It's us. You know what I'm saying? So y'all y'all might not be able to relate sometimes. That's why we do this, to, to try to let people know and, and understand that, hey, it it, it, it comes it come from a certain place, bro. So when you get to a certain point in life, it's about being peaceful. I venture to guess that where you are is way more peaceful than oh, 100%, uh, our hundred percent. Hundred percent. There we go. Hundred percent. Yeah. That's, that's, and, that's, and, I, I might have went you, around the corner to, to make that nah, point, but that's I, what I was. <laughs> you summed it up beautifully. Beautifully. I lived in cities my whole life, so you know naturally you get to an age where it's like I don't want all that shit no more. So. I like coming outside and I don't hear shit. So, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm, done, I'm Ironic, done with that. I, ironically, um, we're in that phase as well because me and my missus are thinking about moving out of London because it's like it's too busy. It's too much, too much, too much um, of a hustle uh, in terms of like day to day. Too busy to the, the atmosphere here is very negative. Um, and it's just mm. maybe it's time we just move out of the city and just live a a little bit more of a peaceful life where you can walk out the door. Um, there's no dog shit on the pavement. There's no buses going through. <laughs> there's there's no vi- there's no tr- no violence, no crime, or, yeah, no. bro. Yeah. That's not even talking. We, we every day like London. I don't know what's happened with London over the last two three years. Oh, ever since COVID, like we have had we hear helicopters every single night, nearly every single night. Helicopters. Right. So what? So what in London? What do the helicopters? Uh, that's what I was about uh, to say. What does that mean? What does that mean for you if, if you don't, if you, if you don't know, that means the police are out, out looking scanning for somebody, for, somebody. looking for somebody on the run. <laughs> so y'all, y'all pulling out helicopters on a regular basis? Well, not until recently, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they on that GTA no, I mean, shit. <laughs> right, like Grand, just, Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto London, but stars. they need to do that. Five stars, <laughs> yeah, yeah five stars can, for can sure. You, hey, can you imagine Grand Theft Auto London? No guns, no. What you uh, mean? Well, you could, you, that you was a Grand do, Theft in London. It was a top-down version, but oh yeah, 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 the old variations. I need to go play. Yeah, it I'm yeah, I played Fortis. that. I played but, that uh, in real time. By the way, that's not right because you, you need to know somebody to know somebody to know somebody to get any weaponry in terms of anything that you guys seem to see. Yeah, legit there. yeah, like the way yeah. y'all is over there. I don't know how it is over there in Canada, Rich, but in the US, you can get a gun. Yes. <laughs> oh, 100 percent. Oh, and I, I'll put some, I'll put some, put some context to this. Like, I've been residing in Canada for some time now. I originally grew up in the states, though. So, New Jersey, oh. New York. Yeah, yeah, that's that's where I'm originally. Wait, so, from. so, so, where were you born? I was actually born here, ironically enough. So I okay. was born in yeah, born in Canada, and never lived here. So I was born here and went back to the states um, as an infant. I think I was only like a couple mm. months old, so I have no recollection recollection of Canada. Um, so I grew up, I actually grew up in Jersey, um, as well as New York. So that's so what you tells tells about yeah, from, about twenty. You from Jersey for real? Yeah, yeah, like that's home. It's home for me, bet, so bet. And then that's cool, one. Cool, cool, cool. That's one thing I didn't. I didn't learn on y'all part. By the way, in case we trust, uh, podcast. Go check. Yeah, go check out the podcast. In Bro, case we trust. how how many of y'all is it? I, it's five. It's five of us. It's five of us. You, 
It's me. One. Trev. I met you. I met you with Miller, yep. who was just on our pod One. last week for what the third time. Yeah. 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 Uh, he loves yeah. it. Now. He loves it in, in our podcast. Ah, shout out reason. to the homie. Shout out to the homie. <laughs> shout out to the homie, man. <laughs> every time. Every time up, he comes man, up. <laughs> I know one for sure. Um, we plan on trying yeah, to get Wonsman one Jer- in the pod. Wonsman jersey as well. Yeah. Okay. So Do we it. plan. We plan on. Do I it. plan on trying to get uh, one on next from y'all's crew. I hadn't. I hadn't uh, stretched it out yet, but that's, that's a, you know up. a little. You know. Breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Definitely a little sprinkle. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> and Kali, I've been talking with Kali, uh, off and on for yeah. the past couple shout of out months. To, shout out to the homie. Yeah, so I I yep, know, so but so you, one of y'all wasn't on the part that I was on, correct? Um, I'm trying to think back to who it was. Might have been Kev, because Trev Trev would have been on. Trevor, so I know it. Trevor. Yeah, so Kev might be the one you miss. Kev is our, right. our fifth member. Yeah, is one of the members okay. as well. So I think Kevin wasn't on there. Um, cool. I can't, it might have it might have been Kev. It might have been Kev. I can't I can't recall. <laughs> But um, I yeah, think myself, it was because I know yeah, Trevor. Myself. I know Trevor. Yeah. I know Juan. I know Kali for sure, and I know you. So yeah, 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 man. So there's five of us uh, in total. Yeah, um, sh- shout out to the kicks and kicks. Was it kicks? We and, and, and kicks, kicks, kicks with trust. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah kicks, shout shout know, to the crew. My little yeah. pod T there, but yeah. <laughs> you know? No, y'all logo, y'all logo, bro. Hold on, let me take my shades off for a second. Y'all logo, bro. That's 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 crazy. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like if y'all if y'all rock with us, y'all go check out in case we trust, bro. Believe me when I tell you when you when you go to their page and when you see that logo, you are gonna want a shirt. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got shirts too. <laughs> we got shirts too, by the way. But yeah, but so so how how is this? Actually, uh, I got one on. Voila, voila. There we go. <laughs> but uh, but but in, ter- in terms of just uh, in terms of the actual whole releases and how this week's been, let's just catch up for this week. How how's your how's your guys' week's been anyway? What's what's the what's the new what's the new thing? What's what's the new thing you're looking forward to? Um. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I could start. To be honest with you, man, there ain't really ain't really much, man. I'm just I'm kind of chilling. I do want those um those DT um the Diamond Turf Max '96 joints that dropped yeah. a little while. Yeah, so that's kind of that's probably that's the pair that's on the radar for me right now. Um, the black ones, the yeah, the black and white joints. So, yo, see, I, this why we got we got to talk. We got to talk. What size are you? Ten and a half. Nike's ten okay, and a so half. Yeah. We about the same. So if you ten and a, if you true you true ten and a half. So for Jordans, I'm a ten, but I find with the Nikes they run a bit small, so I usually do a ten and a half in Nikes. Okay, so yeah, you would be a ten and a half in them Dion's because yeah, I got they. Run they, they no, they small. break in. No, 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 okay. no. That's a myth, bro. That's a myth. Okay. If you know your size in Air Max, then okay, I'm a ten and a half Air Max then. So it's the I same thing, have, bro. All right, perfect. Air Max, do you have to break in your Air Max? Yes. So it's the same thing. Same right, thing so. with the Dion's. I've worn mine once around the house for a little while, but I wore them outside twice. And um but that second in the middle of that second wear, it's like, yeah, socks. Okay. By the way, this by the way, this yeah. is the second time we've seen the ice cream van on on the show as well. Yo, shout, shout out, out to the ice cream, cream man. Yeah, about to... <laughs> shout out to the remember, ice cream remember, man, bro. Remember, remember when this real man, culture. Remember no, when this came... real culture right here, y'all. There you, yeah. there you go, man. I appreciate I, that. I, remember, I appreciate you I being outside ben... for that. Yeah, he look like he coming I'm... right down the side here too, so he's gonna get a little bit louder. But... Go and grab yourself an ice cream, bro. <laughs> 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 but but by the way, live ice cream but, cups on the floor. Yeah, 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 live cup, live cup, live ice cream cups. Um, but um, we, we, I know Ben was on the show um, the other day, um, a, while, a couple of weeks back, and he had the ice cream van out, and he was saying, "Oh yeah, if my, if my daughter was here, I'll be out the door trying to get some ice cream." <laughs> yeah, shout out to Benji too, bro. Hey, they want, yeah, you you guys might get some ad libs every now and then in the background, so I hope y'all don't. That don't, don't really bother. No, that's cool. Nah, as, nah, lo- nah, as nah. long as the ice cream man song ain't copywritten, 
We did it. <laughs> that we straight. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we ain't gonna edit it or nothing. We apologize to the A. That's it. I wish. Yeah, I should have turned it. it down during that's turn it, it down during the during the but, ice cream man. But that's good to know. Appreciate that though on those um those Dion drinks. No, bro. I wasn't I'm, sure. I was gonna say I walked in. Was I in the mall? I was in the mall last weekend. And I saw a pair. I didn't. I didn't even go. I didn't go look at them. I didn't try to figure out what size it was. Nothing. I saw a pair of Dion's sitting on the shelf in Foot Locker. So, okay. Okay. it might be a possibility that they still out there for retail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to that same mall. Tomorrow, because I have to go outside early tomorrow, I will go to that very same mall and inquire. If they got retail, I'm going to hit you. We in the same time zone, so I'm going to hit you. Yes, sir. And that's how you do it. That's how you literally do it. Um, so I I, I, had, uh, I got suckered into the actual camel, uh, the desert camel free. No, 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 no. <laughs> you got those? He said he uh, got suckered. He didn't cop. I need, he got I suckered. Need to hear, I, need <laughs> I got to suckered into. <laughs> so so um, uh, uh, Q, Q already knows this, right? So I have I have a a what do you call it? Cargos, dark no, not cargos, but joggers that are actually the same colorway. Camo colorway, desert camo, camo joggers. colorway. TJ is the yeah, king yeah. of camo joggers. Yeah, I love them. I love them. So I, I actually um. I actually saw the sneaker and I was like, I love that. I love the fact that it just looks so different to a normal Jordan 3 where it's got that desert camo print all over it and it's canvas. And I like that. I, I thought, you know what, it's dope. So um, they sat this morning and I literally just copped them. I got a discount from my work, copped them, got, got like 16 to 20 pounds off them, which is great. Under retail cop, can't, can't go wrong with that. My instant thought, on that was I wonder what laces I can actually put on these so I started <laughs> cute turning away because he knows what I'm going to say I started googling camo flat laces red desert camo white camo black camo I'm like you know what I could do a whole situation there so uh, <laughs> I'll be looking for camo laces <laughs> what's the accent color on the shoe that's crazy is it orange anyway, uh, oh, what do you mean accent color? Like the one that pops color. outside of the camo. Like outside of the camo is any other like color that kind of pops. Brown, brown, brown. Just brown. Well, I mean, it's brown on the bottom, brown on the inside. Like... G- g- gum out, gum out. So brown. Yeah, so gum out. So yeah, gum out. So pretty much p- predominantly brown all the way through. Um, but you might yeah. want to find like some brown. Some if you can find like some dark desert camo or something. I already, like, I already the found it, bro. I already, already found it, bro. I already found it. Well, we'll see it on IG then. <laughs> yeah, you wasted no time. No I, time I, no IG. Instantly, instantly. I ain't got I, into that. that. I ain't got into the whole, like... Oh, there they are, yeah. Nah, there's no yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Any accent color on them. Yeah. yeah, I was... For some reason, I wanted to put orange on it because, you know, can't, oh, bro, most of the time, I did, I, camo sneakers I come with a, a loud color. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I, I I looked at there was a variation of a, ca- a camel brown and a camel orange that will go dope with that. I'm 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 already thinking. Bro, I'm already thinking. Oh, bro, I already said that. Bro. Oh, bro, do who's pink. doing who's doing pink on those? Who's e, that, that look he got horrendous. Yeah, bro, yeah, he put pink laces bro. on everything. <laughs> yeah, you know why e. he does that? You I'm know why sick he does of that, your though. pink laces. E. I'm <laughs> sick of. <laughs> Stop it. But yeah, but um, I'm looking forward to seeing those in hand. I could have actually gone to the to the retail shop and picked them up. But I thought, you know what? I'll just basically just order them, get the discount in, and then actually see them in hand. But I'm actually looking forward to seeing those. So how how good their quality is, what the, the actual print looks like, if the print's gonna be different for every single sneaker. That's gonna be quite interesting to see. Because that canvas, right? every sneakers, yeah, 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 yeah. It's canvas as well. It's gonna be like, the, yeah, you ain't got the uh, the patchworks. They're gonna be similar oh, to the patchworks, bro. Uh, you know I think what? the patchwork, the, no, the patchwork, but between the patchwork three and the camo ten, those two sneakers are those two sneakers are the blueprint to the Melody Asani military yep, yep, PE, yep, yep. which bro. is a predecessor to this three. This is the that's the other reason why I bought this three. Cause I can't wait for that four. If they, that four is never coming out, but if it does, I'm getting that. 
I'm just saying, saying I want that so bad. That's on that's on my <laughs> grill list. That's yeah, on my yeah, grill yeah. list. I I feel like I won't ever go hard enough to touch it. <laughs> but you never and, know. And that's need them. Yo, that's a that's a grill foe. That yeah, Melody yeah, Asani yeah. military PE, that's a grill foe. But guess what? I, guess what I did uh, soon after I picked up those desert camel freeze. What happened? I actually looked at the the other variations of the camel no, patchwork freeze. I was like, hmm, interesting. Might have to go no, back. Oh no, <laughs> no, you can't have it. <laughs> Would you, are you gatekeeping that for free Rich. now, bro? <laughs> Rich, did, uh, so so. How how aware of you were? When that when that patchwork, you know the three we talking about, the patchwork I, camo three. It came out uh, New Year. Oh, yeah. Was it New Year's Day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Year's Day twenty one, or I'm right around what, New I'm Year's. I'm trying to think what shoe that is. I got you. I got. I got. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. I'll pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it. I'll pull it up for you because basically it's basically a sneaker that's all patchwork through, but it's got like almost like a green vibe to it. Matter of fact, but I don't think it was New Year's Day, but it was around the top of the year. Oh, that's what I was thinking of too. Yeah, those are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Were you aware of it when it hit? I remember. I remember them. Like now that I see them too, because that's the one that came to mind when you were saying that. Um, I mean, it was just a three. Like <laughs> there's nothing really special about them. <laughs> All right. So that's the same perception for this WNBA Jordan three camo. This camo one. Yeah. I think the thing with the camo joints, the ones that just. Uh, TJ just picked up is that it's camo. So, you know what I mean? So, like, to me, that one's more memorable. Like, even, like, when I seen them, I was like, yo, these are kind of dope. Would I wear them? Maybe not. But that Patchwork 3 kind of came and went. So... I'm g- I'm going to say I'm going to say this to you, Rich. It was right? limited on release. Uh, uh, what, the Camo Freeze or the Patchwork? Mm-hmm. It was sneakers exclusive. The, the patch- Camo? Okay, well- oh, the Patchworks. Yeah, it was sneakers exclusive <laughs> when it dropped, and then maybe yeah. four months later, uh, some a few retailers got some pairs, yeah. but it it pretty much went under the radar. I was all over it, like it was front page news. The, I'll tell I'll tell you the I'll tell you what's going to happen, right? And I already I already got um, but Daniel, sorry Daniel, I got you hooked. Daniel listens to the podcast. I sent him the camo free that like, I copped it and I showed it like, yo bro, I copped this, blah, blah, blah. And because I, I, cause he likes freeze as well. And he literally said to me, I might go back and get these later on down the line. I guarantee, and I'm going to, I'm going to say this wholeheartedly. I guarantee as soon as they hit people's feet and people start switching up the laces and actually rocking them and taking photos, everybody will be hooked on that. I'm guaranteeing you count, that. Not, you counting on you counting on enough people with swag to like that shoe to to want to make it look how it's supposed to look. Yeah, yeah. I, you need to know how to rock that sneaker for sure. Nah, nah for definitely. Sure. You got to be able to kind of put that together because the shoe is loud, right? And yeah, yeah. I I almost think too like the timing like for now like that's more like a fall shoe. I would I would kind of prefer to see that. You know what I'm saying? And that's great. That's great because in about three or four months. Prop them out. Just you don't leave believe them in, in piecing, for three or four months. You don't believe in piecing out, like like copping with no plan. Oh no, hundred percent. This pair's all yeah. getting kind of just you know put them in the tuck, but it, it, it's hard though sometimes because you know you get especially if you like the shoe, you want to wear it. That's the challenge though. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So, that, that's but but, but fingers, but fingers, but fingers. You might like the shoe and you want to rock it straight away, but this might be another twenty up there that you want to need to rock before you rock that one. So you all like these twenty ones. So in reality, it just hits the back of the queue, bro. Like literally, the way we it, do it's a sneaker. Yeah. yeah, the way we do it. The way we do it. The way we do it. The the you done bought five sneakers, and that that first one you bought out of that five, you like, damn, I forgot I even had that <laughs> from two months ago. But, and not about that, four pairs on top of it. You know what I mean? Was that ha, has there ever been Bro, a pair? I understand that that concept. I've yeah, worn them this, joint, this, yeah, them joints. Them I've worn joints. this sneaker about ten times since I bought it. I done had it for like a month and a half. 
I didn't wore it by ten times, bro. I got sneakers I didn't have for three years. I ain't wore but one time. And that's what I that's what I want to ask you because I'm like, <laughs> we got pairs, but sometimes you know when you get that pair that you really like that comes in, you kind of just jump. <sighs> the other shit is like, fuck it, I'm gonna rock these joints. Yeah. Like them, joint, them joints you just pulled out. It's like you get the you, there's times you cop and it's like straight to feet, and then you just rocking the fuck out of them. Yeah. Because you like them. Yeah. Look, look, look. Look. <laughs> These... <laughs> PhD. <laughs> the PhD five lows. <laughs> These ain't never been outside, bro. That's crazy. I was looking at it too. I'm like, have you worn them shits outside? No. <laughs> I'm just looking... it's just no, like a house I have... It's like a house No. Uh, so I got this philosophy. Because I want I want to dig into your more of your sneaker background too. Um, I got this philosophy that if I have intentions for it or I like it enough, it's going to stay in my collection because I move stuff out. Like if I buy something, if I can't figure out a plan for it after a certain amount of time, it has to go. Yeah. Like I, I'm not with certain stuff. I can't even say with certain stuff. I want to wear everything I buy that's wearable. I have yet to buy anything that's unwearable because I ain't I I ain't put my, myself in that mind state yet to have like memorabilia sneakers. Like my sneakers, the sneakers that I'm wearing today will be my memorabilia when I can't wear them no more. You get what I'm saying? Nah, definitely. Yeah. So <laughs> so what when I feel like I'm not gonna wear something or I don't like it no more or the plans go away for it, it's got to get out of my collection to make room yeah. for stuff that I am going, or I do have a plan. So what's your philosophy on time? Like, are, have you had a sneaker for seven years that you ain't wore yet? I've, I've had pairs that it's nice to look at, you know what I'm saying? But I never really put them on or, or wear them. So like my philosophy, I, same philosophy. And I think this is where I'm at now. It's like, if I'm not wearing it, like you said, if I'm pulling it out once a year, then it got to go. That, that's oh, kind of, yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's kinda, yeah. that put, you got to, you got to understand now, right? I got pairs that are not wearable. So I already see them in the graveyard. So I'm looking at these pairs that I ain't rocking and I'm like, this is where they going to end up. So it, it's kind of a catch 22 because it's like, do I really want to keep it? And then I'm like, I said, I'm rocking it the once a year, you know, and then eventually this is where it's going to go. I'd rather have something. I mean, where I'm at now, I'd rather just be consistently wearing my pairs. It's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's, that's, a, that's a good philosophy to have. Don't, don't you wish, right, you had the ability to kind of hover like one inch above the ground so you never need to step on your sneakers so your soul always keeps clean? That's what that's what Q was trying to do. That's that's what Q was trying no, to do. No, 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 hell no. Gliding, 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 gliding floating, floating hey, out man. here. Hey, hey, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play. So I step like anyway. Yeah, that's, that's something we gotta go. understand. Hey. So, yeah, I got, like, no, I got, I got sneakers. I got sneakers. I didn't wore five times, and people swore I ain't put them on the ground yet. Hmm? Yeah. It's your it's that cleaning ability, bro, as well, because basically you know we clean our souls. <laughs> yep. Oh, but but by the way, Rich. So so in terms of your sneaker journey, how did it start? Um, man, <laughs> I, I've like I, I've said before, not here, but like you know, stories before. For me, I've always been into sneakers. Um, from a very young age, you know, back to the time of East Bay magazines. Mm. Um. I think a lot of us, anybody that's Hit been button, into sneakers, man. yeah, anybody that's that's been into sneakers. Can, can, they, you, can you be a can you be a sneakerhead without even knowing East Bay sneaker, East Bay magazines? <laughs> Who am I to judge? Is what I say. I'm just saying. I, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I'm but no, saying. yeah. Like I think if you really, I, I might get flack for this, but it's like if you really saying you was about that, like there's no way that East Bay wasn't part of that journey. Anybody that I've spoken to that are really into kicks, like that's one thing we kind of like bond over is that East Bay shit because, because it's just you, that that feeling. Yeah. Like I'm gonna lot... go ahead. Sorry, I'm, 
I'm going to rephrase it for you. If you if you're an OG, if you know East Bay magazines, you got to. Like, yeah. there's no way that you do not know East Bay. Um, yeah, like you just don't. That w- that was a thing. And like, even in the UK, we we know about East Bay magazines. Like, we, we see clips and we see, we see snippets. We see adverts and and all of that stuff from back in the day. So obviously, That's you it. knew if you if you know if you're a true OG, you know, you know. You know, yeah, exactly. If you know, you know, is kind of what it was. Like, I just remember, like I said, you know, and a lot of, I, I think a lot of people, their journeys, you know, coming up single parent homes and, you know, just not being able to have access to, to a lot of the shoes that you want. So my whole thing was just like, you know, I would just be in the magazines, cutting pictures out, hanging them on my wall, hey. you know, all the rappers and stuff too. So that kind of went hand in hand, just yes. kind of doing that. And yes. yeah, man. And just like, you know, just, just what, wishing I could have these pairs. <laughs> so, what was what was the, the cu- first couple of sneakers that you actually had on the wall? Um, I would say, like I've always spoken about this. My first, vi- I'll keep it to a Jordan. So, my first vivid memory of a Jordan was the Jordan Steel Ten. Um, mm. and I told, and I've told this story mm. before. I was, I was in fifth grade, so this was. Uh, don't quote me on the year. It would have been 95, 96. I'm not sure when the original Steel 10 dropped. It might have been. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's look that up so, just to fact check it. We, yeah, we had to be 95. We had yeah, to be 95, 96, something like that. Somewhere some, around there. Somewhere around that too. Because I remember I remember I had, I had made a post and kind of told the story and there's some dude in the, in the comment, you know, you get them people all the time. No, it came out this time because it couldn't have been this. And I'm just like, dude, like, that's I'm semantics. being very, that's, yeah, I'm being that's semantics. very, well, like, we got, cause we got to think about, we got to think about this. We're not thinking about it from basketball scheduling. We're thinking about it from Mike ain't even doing basketball now. Exactly. exactly. So that was, that time was for me, that time was blurred. Like I agree. Same, like same. what's going on you know what i'm saying but then the shoe came out and it's like okay so this is still a basketball shoe but yeah like that was and, and that then was people kinda... people wouldn't like, even really feel in the 10 when it first hit like that nah man i remember like i said fifth grade i'll never forget it fifth grade um and we used to line up we used to line up like according to your homeroom right homeroom right. Was, <laughs> we say your homeroom so every homeroom i know was, what you mean yeah i you know Homeroom, so we line up, whatever your homeroom was, you line up in that line at the beginning, start of the, the morning or whatever. I remember my friend, he comes in and he's rocking the fucking Steel 10s. And I'm just like, yo, what the fuck? I'm like, those are the new Jordans? He's like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, yo, take them off. I'm like, take them off. I need to I need to look at these things. So, yeah, he took <laughs> them off. I gave him that, that he, I examined those things. Because a lot of times I didn't see Jordans in person. The only way I've seen them is through friends. Because once again, mm-hmm. like I said, my, my mom couldn't afford them. So right. I'm seeing them in real time from my friends who were fortunate enough to get them. So I'm always just kind of looking at these things. So I was like, yeah, take them off. You know, did the and then what got me was the bottom with all the accolades. I was just like, holy shit. I'm sitting there, I'm just reading all the stuff and I'm just I was just blown away. And for me, that's my first memory um of a Jordan. I think I might have seen pairs. I can remember a few pairs before that, but that would be the one where like to this day, that memory is like etched into my mind, um, and just holding a shoe and looking at it, and reading the accolades on the bottom. Is that um, your so favorite sneaker? Yeah. The Steel Tens are my top five, hundred percent. Top, top five. What's, what, what, so what's, what's one? In your top, what, yeah, what's in your top? No, three, we yeah. need top three. Top three. You talking about yeah, top three. five? We need top three. Yeah. So yeah. so so number one is going to be the Infrared Six. Um, black Ooh. infrared six. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Ooh. that's number that's number that's number one. Will always be number one. Um, Bro, people talk crazy about us, but when we do this, they don't understand. Dog, you can't. I. You know what? I, I actually need to. I, I don't, need to take my infrared. You can't. Infra- you can't name. Uh, I'm talking about footwear. Yeah. Stop! Stop it! Stop it with the sneakers. Footwear, infrared six, top twenty. Footwear, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. boots, sandals, sneakers. Uh, uh, what? What? Medical footwear. The uh, <laughs> mischief. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, the boot, what? Boot. Name the company. Louis Vuitton. Virgil. Virgil. I love Virgil. Rest in peace, Virgil. Rest in peace, Kobe. 
Infrared Six is got a lot of y'all sneakers beat. That's yeah, just yeah, a fact. Yeah, that's yeah, just a fact. That's, that's fact, bro. It's, it, it, it's that is a fact. It's it, it's the, it's the and ain't too because uh, ain't too many people. We done asked a lot of people about their top three. Ain't that many people. You and Retro Rick are the only two people that I can remember right now that said Infrared Six. Yeah, yeah. The, like you, that. That's that. The thing is with the with the Jordan Six itself. That was the start of where the magic happened. Where, championship. Everybody, first, like, first, first yeah, championship. Ex- exactly. <laughs> like everybody. Like the thing is the one, the two, the three, the four, the five, and they like the, we're talking about like, what, the po- most popular, the commercially popular colorways in terms of one, three, four. F- they're they're the, like the most, and in eleven, um, they're the most popular like Jordan in terms of commercially. But when it comes to sneakerheads, when they remember, it's either a Jordan five or Jordan six or Jordan like eight or you you know you know what I mean like yeah I, w- I want to be part of that something special when, like yeah and then like even when we talk like we talk about Jordan three we're like yeah oh, you're the dunk contest I, I, I love the fact that it was and even when we talk about the, the black cement for oh I remember this and the, but when it comes to like like a, like the six it's like yeah that's where it started that's where Jordan was in full flight yes, sir. 100% full flight see what I'm saying God damn. full flight yes sir that see what I'm saying I, I, I love that silhouette to this day man just everything about that silhouette to me is just beautiful you know, from and, the two the two holes in the in the tongue, yeah. you know, to pull them on, mm-hmm. like it's just the the mm-hmm. lace locks, like just everything about that shoe to me is just like clean. And the six, you know, the what? six is just so it's a glut. The six, you know what the six remind me of? Suede sixes. Yeah, it remind me of isotoners. <laughs> yeah, but bro, like it's true. Yeah, I I I gotta say one thing. Like the other, just the other day, I was looking at the DMP sixes. I was looking at I I, put, I pulled up the I, for some reason I pulled out the Dawnbaker sixes as well just to have a look. Great pair, um, great pair, yeah, hundred percent. Like that that is, I was so happy when they re released that for its anniversary. I was like, yeah, I need to get that. I don't care what if it's gonna wear? cost me that much. Hey. <laughs> Huh? I, I do. I've worn it a couple of times. I've worn it more oh. than some of the other sixes ago. The George, bro, the Georgetown six is such a phenomenal sneaker. That's a nice such shoe a too. That's a, slept, yeah, that's yeah. a slept on pit right there. Yeah, George yeah, yeah. hundred percent. But okay. um, so what? That, number two, the, infrared number two. Yeah, that's yeah, number so two. Inf- so infrared, infrared number one. Infrared number, six know, number infrared. one. Infrared six number one. Um, and then for my number two, this is probably my top five. But I, the ice cream I'm, man, I'm, 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 yo, he out there. He's actually starting to annoy me now. He need to get the fuck out the area. <laughs> like he's just—it's throwing me off because I'm trying to talk. Now he get to the money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, money, 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 money. Yeah, you're talking and shit is just going on in the background. That shit is really. Yeah, every, to you know what? Out. <laughs> every every time every time we hear the ice cream man, we're doing this. There we go. I like that. I like that. Yeah, this is, yo, this motherfucker's getting to the money out here because I'm like, dude, like, my gosh, man. Is it, can, like, can, 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 oh, no, 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 can you hear him? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, sorry, what's number two? What's number two? Yeah, <laughs> so 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 number two for me, um, and this is actually another silhouette that I, I feel like a lot of people don't really fuck with them. Um, but my number two is gonna be the Olive Nine. It's gonna be number two. Ooh, yeah. that's hard, that's hard. Wait, yeah, wait, man. wait. All time. All time? The Olive Nine? Yeah. All this time? Is just, this is just for Jordans. This is for Jays. Okay, just for Jays. Yeah, this is for Jays. All for time. Jays. But still, yeah. all time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, what about, What's three what then? About, What's three then? What's... And that three is going to be the steel. It's going to be steel 10. Okay. 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 All right, so, so okay. Let's, let's elaborate. That's a, that, that's no, right. that's a fool. That's a fool ass top three for Jays. That's okay. a fool ass top three. Yeah. I can't, because I, my top three. The only the only way my top three goes left is because of my one because I put the black metallic five one and a lot of people are gonna disagree with that. I agree with that. But I agree with that. But I go that's just my personal favorite. But exactly. I go black. I go black metallic five, uh, bread four, nice, and then you, you, uh, bread eleven. It's they all black and red. Yeah, Ain't yeah, no yeah, that. yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Um, we no, I'm sorry. Uh, my, I'm sorry. I made a movement. The the Space Jam 13 was okay. my number three. 
so it's interchangeable with the bread depending on the season. Because I can wear the Space Jam 13. I'm sorry, Sp- I'm saying Space Jam. He got game 13. He got game 13. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can wear oh, the I'm he got saying. game 13 when it's hot outside. I cannot wear any Jordan 11 that's not an IE low outside when it's hot because your oh, foot yeah. going to turn into a swamp. Yeah, that, that breathability <laughs> is just not there with that pan leather. I, I agree. At all. If, if I had to swap out, just like what you said, if I had to swap out for two, um, it's going to be the Jordan 16. OG, black and, black and red. Yeah. If I had to swap 16? Out yeah. Damn, I like you, Rich. I knew I liked you. <laughs> yeah. Because see, I, you you doing you doing what they scared to do. See, they they waiting on somebody else to co-sign it. Get I mean, what? No, no. Nope. I'm gonna co-sign it. I like it. I don't need nobody yeah. else to say nothing. I got it. Mm-mm. That's how we roll. Yeah. What's your TJ, That's please? It. Top yeah. three specific for my- rotation. Yeah, rotation. For my, for Top mine, uh, so I was gonna, I was gonna mention this. So the, the, my, mine is definitely number one is Black Metallic Five, right? I, I have, I, I have so many opportunities to get that sneaker. I'm so glad it's coming out next year. I do not care if it's got three M on the lining. I do not care. I'm getting two of those pairs. I'm gonna rock one and I'm gonna bash one. I don't care, bro. Because the, my favorite mission that my FOMO of that sneaker has allowed me to get the Gore Tex Five, the Satin Bread <laughs> Fives, but the the top three fives, bro. Oh my, yeah. I need, I, I yeah, I'm a mini five. Yeah, you, I, I need that sneaker. I even get you know what I I keep you know the story about me giving up the PSG five Ooh, to the he bro. Didn't get the anthracite. Uh, you yo, get, bro. He gave up the I, PSG five for retail, bro. For the bro. And I, yo, but bro, no, hold up. I, I, it's I, not. I, it's I, not. It's I, not even. It's not even the retail thing because we do that. Like we, you know, yeah. it's not. It ain't about the money. Like if I don't want the sneaker, but he gave it up at the time because. Whatever reason, I wouldn't did that, bro. Bro, the bro, was I got sneakers in my collection that I told the bro I would get, and when I got it in hand, I was like, bro, I can't give it to you. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> no, so hold up. No, had, that Zen Green, to... that Zen Green, uh, Zoom one, mm-hmm. I bought it for ninety nine. He ain't got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah, greedy, so, greedy. So hold up. So you you swap the PSG fives? Oh no, no. So so I, I basically well, I looked at the PSG fives and they're they're two quite an easy cop. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, the ice cream truck. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yo, this motherfucker. Yo, he. Yo, this motherfucker. Money, me, money, man. money, like, money. Yeah. No. Yo, 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 rich, rich. Go over there and get yourself five. That shit better not be copyrighted. Movie. I swear. I'm gonna catch the flight, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, no, but, by the way, yeah, good. Sorry, I, I did. I didn't give the PSG five up. I, I, I basically wanted it, and then the, the bro, the bro came to me struggling to get. Uh, he was struggling to get it. Um, I managed to cop, and then he was the same size as me. So I was like, "All right, cool. Um, I, I'll, 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 I'll give this up to you, bro, because you really, really want it. You, I love this sneaker, but you love it it's just a tiny bit more than me, and you've been raving about it. Here you go, bro. And I gave it to him for retail. what's the t- boy. <laughs> <laughs> that sneaker is ridiculous at the moment. I, 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 I was a kind person back then. <laughs> I would have bought him a beer and told him to hold his feelings. <laughs> no, no, um, We're going to drink it's... together. I won't wait in front of you for six months. <laughs> but 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 all I'm gonna say all I'm gonna say is everything happens for a reason and um I I'll, I'll wait for that outcome because it will come full circle. I'll, I'll eventually get what I, what I need to get. So I don't look at it as a loss. I think I look at it as a an experience, and then just keep moving on. To be honest, but That's but crazy, Rich, bro. I what's, ain't, what's, I I will not do that, bro. I didn't bought people. I didn't bought people Lebron's, Dornbecker, ninety nine. I done bought 99 a bunch of sneakers, bro. Uh, Dornbecker stuff, Chinese New Year stuff, like hard to touch stuff. You know, like a bunch of ones. Like, bro, th- I'm a- I deserve to keep. I I bought the uh, the same Oregon 5 that you want right now, that you regret the same way you regret that, that Oregon 5. Yeah. Not Oregon, I'm sorry. No disrespect to the PE, the Apple Green 5. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 everybody calls it Oregon Five. Like, you know, we know what you mean, bro. We know, yeah. We definitely ninety yeah. ninety nine got it because I gave it to him for retail. Hey, so, hey, so, but, but, it, but, basically, bro, like, I will definitely go back and get that. I'm, I'm get, I'm this year is going to be the closure year where I'm definitely going to pick up the actual uh, Oregon Fives. I'm, I'm definitely going. Um, that's going to be my rotation by the end of this year. I can guarantee that, bro. I, I've been eyeing it up. I've, I've working out. I've been strategizing and I will get it. 100% get it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm kind of starting to feel like that about these damn union field generals. Oh, who are you? Re- uh, you basically, are you now thinking, what's the, what's the actual reason on those at the moment? They high, bro. Depending on where you look, they really have really, really high for the retail. The retail was one twenty. They floating around three hundred on the oh. on the average. That's just on average. On one side, you might you might get away with one ninety two hundred. On the other side, you you might have to pay two eighty three hundred. So. They were they were floating about one. They were floating about two, two, two twenty, two foot, two foot, two, two thirty, two fifty. Uh, when before, around the release, weren't they? They've gone up now, actually. To be honest, I saw I saw a couple of people caught steals, man, and I, mean, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like it, bro. I seen I seen some sales. I want to see it. It could be cap. Yeah, it could be cap because we. We ain't got no way of tracking these websites right, there, for real. There we go. Yeah, hey, we, we ain't we ain't right. got no way we ain't got no way of tracking StockX or Gold or no. We we subject to the information that they give us. So yeah. when I look at the sneaker and you know you look at the last sales and the previous sales and like I did I purposely didn't look at it for two days, right? Yeah, yeah. And then they start sending you notifications because they saw you looking at it, yeah. But you didn't hit the button, so they go send you a notification and be like, "Hey, hey, you you, you was looking at the the Black Union Field General. You yeah. you still interested, right? <laughs> the, uh, the, the somebody somebody just no. Nah. The, then they'll they'll say some stupid. It's two thousand pairs, right? So out of two thousand yeah. pairs, how many ten and a half for one? Because they they say it runs small. First of all. So I'm looking at ten and a half and eleven to gauge which might be the better price between the two yeah. sizes. On one platform, ten and a half is high and eleven is low, and the opposite on the other platform. Both platforms sending me notifications talking about uh fifty seven people caught yesterday. No, they didn't. This yeah, there's only two thousand pairs. What are you talking about? But then, but then you go look at the analytics, and three pairs in your size sold. Oh, because they generalize the whole city so because basically they're saying, oh yeah, fifty seven out of all. But that's still, but then that's still, um, they telling quiet. you they they telling you the current price is two forty, but a pair just sold eight hours ago for for. One sixty. Watch out, man. Yeah, yeah, but but that's that's the reseller trying to scalp it. By the Watch way, out. by the way, we 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 lost we lost Rich for a little, little a couple of seconds. Rich, what did you do with the actual body? Sorry, what did you do with the body? Because I can't hate no ice cream, man. <laughs> you, I know you were annoyed. Rich, the, I was Rich, the, Rich the went and dispatched the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he moved on, man. He moved on. He moved on. I we bet had, he did. We had, I bet we he had did. Quick, <laughs> we had a quick. We had a quick chat. We had a quick little chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Friendly conversation too. I bet. Uh, very friendly yeah. conversation. Very, very uh, professional. Uh, so, so, so. Rich, so Rich is wearing shades, by the way, for y'all. So. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, no, I know. Um. <laughs> um Outside your outside the Jordans, what what are your three favorite silhouettes in terms of? Because you've just uh, you just given us Jordan specifics, so yeah. give us non Jordan specifics. Like you, overall, just including Jordans, what is your like top three? Um, I'm gonna go so non Jordans. Um, and these are probably pairs that are no 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 including including everything, just everything. 
Every everything. How, however you however you want to do it. Yeah, yeah. However you want to do it, bro. So the non Jays, I'm gonna go. Um, number one is gonna be that more up tempo. OG colorway, mm. black white. Wait, yeah. no. really? That big air, that big air. Oh yeah. A lot of this stuff Ooh. for me, like a a lot of this stuff for me is like it's sentimental nostalgia. That's mm-hmm. how I kind of tie in my stuff. Um, but I remember when those Morp Temples dropped, and I said to my mom's, and you know, I'd always get a new pair of sneakers for beginning of school, and then right. she caught me a pair for my birthday. So I knew for sure those are the two times I'm getting a fresh pair of kicks. So mind you, school starts in September. My birthday's not till March. So that one pair got to hold me down for a couple months. Yeah, And it's not like today where we switching it up every day. I'm wearing that p- a pair every fucking day. You, you, we know. You, 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 you're going to make I know. me bust out the book. Bo- yeah, yeah, you're gonna make me bust out the bulls up tempos. I've, I've actually when I, when they first came, well, they came out or twice already since I've been yeah, picking that's a, up. Yeah, that's a nice pair, bro. Like they're yeah. hard. I, I when the first V retro, um, ah. this is like 2000. I can't remember the date, but it's it's like early to 2016 onwards, right? When they first V retro those, I had to get them. I love the colorway, the black and the red hits so well on that with that like white. At, out like mid so so dope so so dope yeah I I, nice, I love nice them. nice pair them. nice pair man yeah, they're yeah. Re- they're dropping the Olympics is supposed to be coming back out again Ooh. um so yeah yeah so those are gonna so be dropping want, again you want all the up tempos yeah yeah I still up tempos man I fucks with them I actually just <laughs> grabbed I just grabbed the pair um and I'm a bigger dude too right so like it's a it's a chunky like it's a it's a bulky shoe. So yeah, it looks yeah. good on me. So you got, yeah, it, you look, got it looks way good more on comfort me. On that. Yeah, you got maximum way more comfort air. On that. Yeah, like like max all of that. Like air, air max air max. Yeah. So like yeah. you you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with them. Um, it's I like just a bought 95, a ninety five. It's like an air max ninety five. Ninety five shoe. Yeah. You you, you, you got all them air bubbles. Th- that up tempo right. reminds me of, and I'm not talking about visually, in terms of the 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 feel of it. Reminds me of the LeBron 15. Remember the LeBron 15? I was about to say. Yeah. As soon as you yeah. said yeah. that, I started thinking LeBron. That's, yeah, that's exactly how the how the high top LeBrons feel. Yeah. So the LeBron 15, it, I've got I've got three variations of LeBron 15. The Oreos. I've got the New Heights, which is like that almost like that blue with the dragon scales come blue and red on the dragon scales which is absolutely dope and the ghost pair the ghost pair is so fire right that that's like a almost like beige all beige Jordan, yeah, uh, ghost pair is dope. 15 <sighs> bro ghost like pair is dope. I, and when I, whenever i whenever i wear them lebron's a bigger guy than me obviously right and when it, we the, the cushioning on that is actually adapted to lebron's fit, like fit but that feels high every time i wear that i feel like i'm floating I feel like I'm uh, I'm like several inches above the gra- above the yeah. f- surface. So that 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 up tempo feels the same way. This is why I was like, yeah, yeah, that, that kind of relates the, back the to correlation. Yep. The yes, correlation. sir. Yeah, man. The the up tempos is that's number one for me. And once again, like I said, just tying it back to my childhood. And I'm gonna ask my mom for those. Um, she, you know, she's gonna get them for me. And honestly, she could not find them like, for the life of her. Like she searched mm-hmm. high and low. And could not find them. Actually, the consolation prize the pair I had to settle with was, in hindsight, was actually pretty dope. Was the Flight ninety six? Um, many wore those. Yeah. So the Flight ninety six was kind of the consolation prize that I had gotten because she couldn't find those up tempos. So and bro, where were you then? Go ahead, sir. I was in Jersey. Where were you then? You was in Jersey. I was in Jersey. Okay. Yeah, I was in Jersey at this time. So I show up to the first day of school, bro. Everybody got these fucking up tempos on these more tempos. <laughs> Everybody and their mama is fucking wearing them. And because at the time it was a bold shoe, that big air across, it was just different. We ain't never seen nothing like that. And I think that's why everyone gravitated to it. But yo, I showed up to school. Everybody and their mama had them. Everybody and their mama. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ninety sixes. Yeah. Yep. Yo, the gray pair. Colorway. That gray. That gray. The gray and black ones. The joints I had. Yep. The cool gray. Those. Yeah. Yeah. I had those. Yeah. And I wore them things into the ground, to the ground. So this is 96, right? Think yeah. about that that all gray with black and white colorway. This is the, the beginning those. of the this the beginning of the yep. cool gray era. Yep. Right. This this is this is sneaker history that reach that that rich is reaching back to 
and regurgitating yes, for, for the for for the audience right here now. Hey, He's talking yes, about sir. the gray and ba- the gray, white and black pair of Nike Air Flight ninety six. Y'all look that up if y'all not watching. Look those look those look those up. That's what Kobe cool started. Jordans, um, Nikes, like that whole gray on gray on gray, different colors gray. Yeah, that's where it started. Coming coming off yeah, the, coming off the back of the Air Max ninety five with the with the all gray different grays with the neon. That's where the cool gray era come from. Yeah, yes, sir. I, I, so so, what's your number two and number three? Um, number two, and this is another pair I had as well. This one I was able to get. Um, it's gonna be the Flight One, um, also wore by Penny Hardaway. Um, Jordan actually wore them too. Um, yeah. Even the, even yeah, though he Jordan clipped the clipped fan. the ones on a yeah clipped the ones off the back though <laughs> you know Jordan being real petty so, and doing what he does so, so so we gonna do we gonna do this Rich um oh man I love I love you as a guest on this part so much bro you don't understand <laughs> you, you bring it up, you, you bring it up the you bring it up the silhouettes that matter to me um let's go I I need this right now. I need them back. I had them when they when they did that retro a few years back. I had them nine and a half though. I ended up, you know, my foot. I went up to a ten. I wear ten now. I did wear nine and a half before, and I had to get rid of them, and I regret it to this day. Regret it to this day, bro. When when Penny Hardaway hit the scene before the pennies, this sneaker ran rapid through the west side of Atlanta. And That's I dope to know. I get it. Ah. I could not get it. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. You know, last but last but not least, what's your third on that list? And then my the third shoe I'm gonna go with. I'm I'm toying around with this because there's a few. Um, but I might have to go with because this was a big. This is another big shoe. I didn't have this particular pair, but once again, I had friends and stuff that had them, and you know was able to see them. It's going to be the Bo Jacksons. That trainer, that Auburn joint. Um, Ooh, yeah, we know that. Yeah, we you got, put on no if you know sneakers, you know, exactly. If you know sneakers, you know that. You nah, know what that yeah. is. <laughs> you ain't. If you don't, if you don't know Dude, the Auburn, he, if you if you a sneakerhead, the Nike the Nike SC High, yep. or it used to be known as what was it, the Nike Trainer Three at first. Trainer Three, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. back in the Trainer day, three. it was a Trainer Three. But now it's known as Nike SE. They just SC dropped high. a couple of years ago the white yep. with the with the white with the burnt Blue. not burnt uh, the bright orange with that purple and the, and the purple and the purple. Not yes, even sir. purple. It's it's purple. it's like a yeah something like that. It's Auburn, you know. It's after Bo Jackson, Auburn superstar. You know, possibly uh, arguably one of the greatest college players ever. We seen, we know he's he, one of the greatest NFL players ever. I, I was about to say, even in the NFL, regardless of you know how his career being cut short, no, Bo Jackson that is, was, in, is in my is in my top top five you, running backs. You know that's cement. I, I, that's cement. I, I, that's dry I, cement yeah. right there, bro. Yeah. When you talk about Bo Jackson, speak on dry cement. The man <laughs> got hurt, but j- still played. Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, Derrick Rose. Uh who was I just listening to? Gil, Gilbert Arenas too. Gilbert Arenas. Gil, yeah. If Gil would have kept playing, the 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 history would be different. You know what I'm saying? But, certain by players, the way, dog, especially with basketball and football, certain players, history would be different uh, if it went for Grant Hill, even though he Grant did Hill. some sucker shit a couple of weeks ago. You know. But by the by the way, Still. I love I love being a sneakerhead because the irony of the situation is crazy. Um just yesterday, I you you ain't gonna believe this. I I did not know what you, what you were gonna talk about today, right? But just yesterday, me and Scott was running down through the SC highs, like Bo Jackson SC highs, <laughs> right? And we're looking at the Atlanta pair, we're looking at the, the other variations, we're looking at the Auburns, we're looking at all the different variations. He was he was telling hey. me, yeah, yeah, he 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 was telling me, oh, have you seen the Transformers? I said, yeah, of course. He was told me about the Transformers. We know about the Transformers bro, over that here, ma- bro, 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 bro. <laughs> Bro. The, the irony, I could not make this up. I can't make this up. Can't make this I up. Just, meant, I just meant to be. These, I just wore these LA Rams 
um SC highs last Saturday. Right. Those are this, dope. I hunted these. I and I ended up catching them on retail. That was my first cop from uh Snipes. So shout out to Snipes. But um and when you caught from Snipes, because of the state they in, no sales tax. That's dope. E- shout out to Snipes. Philly. That's dope. Philly. But, um, that's dope. But yeah, bro, that's the that's the three. So I want to ask you a question. Actually, <laughs> TJ, TJ want to ask you a question. No, no. Wait, wait, wait. You directed it on me. <laughs> what are you directing it on me? <laughs> what, what? Okay. All right, cool. I, I, I'll okay. ask you a question. I, are you, right, shall, we, shall we just do it together or do you want to do it, bro? It's up to you. That's the question, bro. Right. Who are you picking, bro? Kendrick or Drake? Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick. All day. Done. We good. We good. All day. Me and Pluto. I'm, I'm, All I'm day. actually glad I'm I'm actually glad you, you asked that question. Because I mean, I'm in Toronto too, and <laughs> we got a sneaker group that we do, and we would go, a bunch of us is going back and forth about, about that. And it got so bad we had to start a set a, a subgroup for just Kendrick yeah, and yeah. Drake just to kind of add arguments, but um, you, you pick? Did you just pick Kendrick because it was cut out? You pick Kendrick, right? I pick Kendrick. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right, good. Right. Round of applause. Round of applause. You said the right answer. No, no, no. He got to look at his face. He got a hip hop face. <laughs> Kendrick, all day. You look yeah. at his face. You look. So when you look at his whole, his whole pause. When you look at his structure, like his his head, his head to shoulder length uh, width ratio. Like his whole thing is, is, is hip hop, bro. I sense the aura coming f- even from so far away over the internet. I could feel it. Like we ain't <laughs> even had no hip hop conversation. We done had sneaker yeah, conversation. Yeah. I ain't yeah. expect nothing less from this. I know this man swag. Ain't no way in the oh, hell yeah. he was gonna oh, yeah, pick yeah. Aubrey. And I know, Aubrey. and I know my, and I know my music. I know my, my oh my yeah, music yeah. Head too. So I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna the say. Man, say he's like, from Jersey, bro. We know he yeah. know hip hop. Some of the greatest hip hop artists ever come from New Jersey. Yeah. Joe Budden, uh, Red Reggie, Man. Red Man, Red Man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, man. I, 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 you know what? I always back in the day, I, and and I still, I love Red Man. Back in the day, bro, I was all over him. All like, uh, listen, Red like, Man, I Red love. Man, the no, Red. Red Red Man's in my top five. If you like lyrics, he up there. If you like lyrics, Red Man's in my schemes, top five. He up there. Red Man. I even I even love the fact he's coming out with stuff for, for um the socials. It's so funny, so so funny. You like, know what? Have you, have you? I met his cousin, bro. This real hey. life. I ain't. I can't. I can't remember the last time I actually told this story. Check this out. You know what's next, too, TJ. Get ready. Yeah. So uh. I was living in these apartments, me and my mama, over there in the uh, college, right on like the East Point College Park borderline. Apartments called Club Candlewood. We had just moved from the apartments on the East Point side. It's like the East Point, the part, these apartments on East Point side, Washington Walk. We were staying in Washington Walk for a little while, and then we moved to the other side of the line, which was the city of College Park. But whatever, right? So it's this dude. We kicking it. I'm like 20, 21, something like that. This is right around the time I met my OG. Shout out to Shug. Uh, appreciate you, big dog. So um, it's this dude, this light skinned dude. And we, you know, I'm young. I'm 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 do I'm heavy in my rap shit. I'm just really starting to get good into making beats and you know, we putting songs together and blah, blah, blah. But I meet this dude. I can't remember what he said his first name was. For the life of me, I wish I could remember. But he told me his last name was Noble. And he was a fire. I'm talking about this like 2001, 2002. This dude, every time he, every time it's time to rap, it's fire. Fire. I'm talking about, and he started talking about his cousin, Red Man, his cousin. This man, he pulled out his ID and showed us his last name was Noble. 
and he look in the face like That's Red dope. Man. I had That's no dope. choice but to believe that he was Red Man's cousin, bro. And at this time, this this is around the time of Red and Meth doing their thing. Oh, bro, that was epic. That was this, epic. I'm talking about, yeah. you know, epic. early epic, 2000s, bro. Rottweiler was big shit. Like, they was popping. They was everywhere, everywhere that rappers needed to be. Red and Meth was there. They starting to act. They got the movie, then this and that. You know how what I'm saying? High, so, bro, how, how high is such a I, classic movie, bro? Bro, I, I swear. <laughs> not, I, not, I, not even just the movie, but you got to remember the track. How high? That I know. track is classic. Bro, bro, bro. bro. Classic. They, 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 and they, it's not I, even from the movie. It's from the no, show. No. Separate. Separate. Crazy. Yo, I, the I, show soundtrack... Dog, when that soundtrack, shout out to Air, Big Fresh, Air Briston, my cousin Briston. He was on the party uh, a little while ago. Yeah. Me and Big Fresh, around that time, it was Biggie. That was around the time Juicy hit the single uh, for Juicy before Biggie Man. dropped. The, I, I, the, I'm, uh, I'm, Bone. I'm looking off. I'm logging off this uh, podcast and listening to all the nineties hip hop, bro. I'm after this. Man, you got me remembering. We were just, you got me yeah, I don't know. We were, I was just I was just playing Project <laughs> Pat before we uh, started partying, y'all. We, we this ain't no bro. music part. Let's get back to some bro. stupid stuff, man. I know, I know, I know. Uh, but uh, but uh, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say what a era. What what an era, Great era. of uh, yeah, like like we, we, time to be I, alive. I, I I am lucky. I broke through into listening to hip hop when we had um, Nas, Jay Z, Tupac, Biggie, uh, Big L, bro. Like, oh my god! Like, there's so many good, good MCs, rap, like hip hop artists back in the day Outcast, that came through. UGK, Goody Mob, Ghetto Boys. <laughs> Yeah, with yeah. Doctor Snoop and Dre, NWA. So, like, yeah, you, you, we like you just met, we just mentioned Red Man, Method Midwest, Man, Wu Tang, uh, all Bone, of that. What an era, bro! Conflict, what? Do a die, Twister. Yeah, oh, somebody did, man. And, Capone, Capone, and Noriega was one of my guys. CNN, oh my Nori, God, was a big yo. Mob Deep, I'm of glad, course. I'm Mob glad D. you say that. Yes, you, you, you had Tribe. the whole and we we yo, saw. Yo, I used to saw. listen to I, I used to listen to Phil Snickens yeah. before Buster went solo. That's dope. Mm. That's dope. Yeah, I remember man. them too. Chris Cross. <laughs> Chris Cross. I was on Chris Best. Chris Cross. I wrote my first rap to Chris Cross Shame. Cause I had it was jump and shame on the single. It was jump single, shame single, and the instrumental to both songs. I wrote my first rap to shame. Rapping about uh, um, my hood and shit. I was like bro, 14. Bro. I'm going to tell you something really, 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 I don't know if it's, I don't know how, the, if it's going to be a sad moment or a happy moment. I don't know. I'm just going to say it. I used to put, I used to put my headphones in and sleep, listen to hip hop. Like sleep, listen to Jay-Z. Well, how album, was that or, or Nas album. No, What's I'm not just that, saying. I, 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 I used to do that too. Love, I used to love it. I don't, I, yeah. So, and the thing is, there's a, there's a whole uh, synopsis about how when you go to sleep subconsciously, what you listen to affects, affects it's you in, as a, yeah, it's yeah, in your, yeah. your dreams and all that. Oh, yeah. Yo, oh, yeah. You remember, yeah. so, 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 Rich, I know you remember Columbia House. Yep. We ain't got to say nothing else. All right. <laughs> all right. <Yep. laughs> shall, shall we, shall, all right. But, by, by the way, like before before we get into the nitty gritty, because we 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 spent, we spent uh, like the first part of the show. Yeah, we have through through. Your, yeah, 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 halfway through. Um, but um, what what one what's one memory in terms of the sneaker, uh, into the in terms of the sneaker game that's made you just feel so happy? So like the the pinnacle moment in your sneaker journey. Um. Hmm. I think there's been a few segments um, in regards to that, but I got one. Let me. Can I go first? Real? Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because he ain't never asked this question before. No, I just came to my mind because we have so many amazing guests on the show, and we always talk about what they're likes and what they what they kind of go through and stuff like that. But we've never asked the question about your best moment. We always kind of allude to worst moments, but what is your best moment? So let me. I think. I think this will set the tone, and I'll be quick because I told this story before. One of my worst days at work. I'm talking about anything Murphy's Law type of day. Yeah, everything that could have went wrong went wrong. 
Yeah. It was a long day. It was a tough day. I ain't want to say hard because I would have had to say a pause. It's okay. It was a long day. <laughs> it was a tough day. And I got home. I left my house at four in the morning and I didn't get back to after 9 p.m. Damn. And I was moving the whole time. Damn. And my wife said, when I got home, I'm I'm heating up food, right? Cause all I want to do is eat and go to sleep. Cause I got to get up at four the next morning. But I'm dedicated, right? So I'm locked in. Eat. I'm finna go to sleep. I don't want to talk. I don't want to look. I don't want to listen. I don't want to do Nathaniel. You hear my name is Nathaniel for the rest of the night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying you get nothing from me. <laughs> <laughs> she talking about. This box, can you get this box for me? It's heavy. I don't want... What? This box? <laughs> I go get the box. Long story short, she made me open the box. It's the he got game 13s. Oh, there you go. That'll do it. <laughs> That's my favorite story from my sneaker journey so far. My wife getting me them. He got game thirteen. He, I went. I had, was, and it was the worst of the worstest of the worstest days, bro. It's like that, that, the sneaker gods said. Not even you go. sneaker gods. Like yeah. the, the, something, somebody or something. Outside of my wife, but no, nah, it's just my wife. It's just how good my wife is. She just timed it up that good. She's yeah. But what about you, Rich? What's your what's your um what one sneaker um, epic moment? I'm gonna say, um, and this is gonna actually involve like you know the guys at the pod, but our first sneaker show. Um, mm. I'm gonna say is, is a was a big moment. I know not just for me, but just us as a collective. Um, so we actually put on two sneaker shows, but the feeling that I had for that very first show was just something I've never felt before in terms of like shoes, just to kind of, just to see that we were able to bring the community together. I think for me, that's like priceless. Yeah, I remember yeah, when the yeah. show, I remember when the show was going on and I just stood there, just, you know, when you, you just taking something in and it's just like, man, like we did this shit, and that's how I felt. Like the feeling was just like overwhelming. I was just like, "Yo, we did this." You know what that's I mean? Yeah. So that's epic. That's epic. Yeah, I uh, think I'm, I think for us and for myself, that's probably like one of the biggest moments with anything that has to do with. I was I was gonna say as well. Um, my I think my I think on my on my reflection, I think it's the people for me. Like that, that, I think that's the most prominent thing for me. It's the people, like the the opportunities to meet the people I have, like yourself, um, like Q, E, Cam, Scott. Like w- without doing what I'm doing, I would not have known the amount of people I know in terms of from the sneaker community. Um, so there's there's been there's been high points and there's been low points. Obviously, one of the high points is uh, um one of the high points being knowing I've uh, known people that have related to sneakers, but one of the lowest points has obviously been. People people that I've known that is actually kind of crazy situations from that so unfortunately those, those are those are the high and low points from my side but yeah I agree when you bring when you bring people together and when you bring people um, and do something epic it's always good to see and it's always good to relate yeah bro like it's it's like it's like we work I, I always say that we work like people when you're out there and you're doing what you do to um, make the living for yourself People compare woes. It's the same yeah. thing with, you know, outside and with, with social. And we do this, you know, because it's a passion of ours. It's a love of our, all of us. So yeah, it's, it's always going to be highs and lows, you know. So yeah, we, yeah, deal yeah. With, we deal with the lows. We don't want to see it and we don't want to have to face it. But when it comes, we deal with it and we keep it moving and we stand on what we stand on. Yeah. So but, the highs but, and the lows, bro, I, I really... <laughs> That's that's with anything. 
That's unavoidable. Yeah. But talking about standing on stuff, it's the time now we grill, Rich. <laughs> 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 the bacon is about Fun to be sizzled. The steak is about to be fried. And it's, uh, it's we are going to munch good. down. It's, uh, so uh, we we do a couple of things uh, with the guests for fun uh, when they first come on. So for first first up is loose shoes or dump, right? So basically, we'll give you we give you free cho- we give you free choices. You can either lose it, which basically means you lose it for yourself and you give it to everybody else. You either choose it, means everybody gets it, including yourself, or you either dump it, means it's dumped out of history, no longer existed, right? So those are the three options: lose, choose, or dump. So first, we're going to start off with what we start off with with new guests is Lucius Lucius Jump, GR, OG, or Collaboration. So I got to pick one of those three categories? No, no, you got to no, no, no. give it. You, you, you categorize gotta... each. So okay. when you lose something, <laughs> yeah. you don't get it. Everybody else do. Okay. Choose it. You and everybody else gets it. Or you dump you, nobody even knows this sneaker ever happened. You're like it's it's a okay. Ghost. It never happened. It's a myth. It never yeah. happened. So never yeah. happened. OGs. Choose. Yep. GR. GRs and collabs. Lose one. Choose one. Choose and one. Dump one. Dump one. Dump one. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh. I love the thought process on this, bro. <laughs> Uh, uh, damn. What you gonna do first? You gonna lose first? You gonna choose first? Oh, I'm choosing first. One. I'm gonna choose first. All right, cool. All right, so okay, I'm choose. Cool. I'm choosing OGs. Hey, you know what? Majority the of the button. answers are always OGs. <laughs> Hit the button, please. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. I'm, I'm like, choosing. I'm choosing OGs. So everybody you know. gets OGs. We yeah, know, so everybody get one the of us, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if y'all disagree. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. And without the Wait, OGs, you... ain't nothing. nothing else. Else. So, so you you giving are you giving the people collaborations, or are you giving the people GRs? That's what it come down to. Now it's about the people. You already got because you got OGs. Yeah, I got my OGs, so I'm good. Um, it's about the people uh, now, Rich. We know you love the people now. You're a potter. You pot, so you love. You got to love the people if you pot. I know, but I think sometimes the people need to get back to basics. Uh, <laughs> I know what he's going to pick. I know what Rich is going to pick. <laughs> Go on, do it. Do it, Rich. I know you're going to do it. Do it. And the the, the dump is that's that's gone. Yeah, that's gone forever. It's, it never existed. I only know, never I don't even know what that is. So yeah, um, so Martin, yeah, we, we, Martin we, McFly so we, that. Yeah, so we we dump we gonna we gonna dump the the collabs. Hey, <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. So we're, we're, yeah. we're basically choosing choosing uh, choosing GRs. We're uh, losing um, um, we're choosing OGs, losing GRs, and dumping collaborations. What oh. a beautiful way to put it, All right? But that that's not the only thing, bro. There's more. <laughs> There's more. All right, lose shoes or dump. All right, Jordan. Jo- same, 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 same principle. Same principle. Yeah, we're looking at Jordan, jo- Jordan ten steals, infrared mm. sixes, or olive mm. nines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, oh, you thought yo, I'm you thought we were man. you thought we were just having a conversation. That what you thought? Yo. <laughs> Fuck y'all in advance. <laughs> <laughs> We got him. We got him. <laughs> Y'all already know. All right. I'm we got him. You know, you know I'm choosing. I'm choosing the infrared sixes. I'm choosing those. <laughs> oh. That's getting chosen. So, so the, mo- the, the most important thing is, what are you dumping, bro? <laughs> uh, holy shit. We got him. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen. Because really it doesn't really matter what you lose. It's what you're dumping, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I dump. <laughs> Ladies and oh, gentlemen, we got fuck. it. <laughs> you guys are terrible. Uh, <laughs> yes, we know. Yes. Everybody yes. goes through this. Everybody goes through this, bro. So unfortunately, everybody goes through this. 
<laughs> we got him. Should we start the timer? If if okay, if, if I have to pick, if I gotta make a decision, damn, mm. I'm gonna dump. I'm gonna dump the olives. Oh, okay. Of that course you are. Choice anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course you I, are. I cannot say. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna because dump the, the olives because team. I can't lose. I can't lose that memory. Yeah, I can't lose that. Memory. So, 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 Rich, yeah. so Rich, the olive. Have you, have, the, have you got the a, olive? No, nah. ain't, ain't yeah. nobody top twenty, bro. Uh-uh. But, but by the way, have you got like a sweat dripping through your forehead at this moment in time? I will, I ain't gonna lie, it was a little hot. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, cool. Oh, it's you. getting hot in here, bro. <laughs> and, and see, <laughs> see, you thought it was over. He thought it was over. Right, more, uh, uh, it's getting we ain't friends yet. That. We ain't <laughs> friends yet. <laughs> we are right, not friends Lu- yet. Part part three of loose shoes of dump. Uh, more shit. tempos. You know what? It flight is. ones. You know or the Bo Jackson Albans. You know what it is. You guys set you guys set me up. Y'all set <laughs> yes. me up. That's exactly what the fuck I was doing. Yeah, and you better not tell at, one. You better not tell one. Say, I'm looking back at high school. I'm like, y'all set me up. Y'all yeah. Set me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we strategically oh, move like Kendrick man. here. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna choose I'm gonna choose the flight one. <laughs> yes, hey, choose the flight one. Hey. That's a victory for us. Yeah, I I'm agree. Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna choose the flight one. Yes. I'm gonna i I'm gonna dump the Auburn. Uh, Man, I'm gonna dump the Auburn. You 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 you, you, hurt, you, you just you just hurt Q's feelings. You really yeah. hurt Q's feelings there. But see for me, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the rationale behind it. I'm dumping the God. Auburn because the up temple once again, the memory, the nostalgia okay. piece. That was okay. that would that plays into like that's like my story arc. You know what I mean? Like that plays yeah, into yeah. kind yeah. of where I went with shoes. So I can't <coughs> lose that. I can't lose that. Uh, I didn't want to dump the Auburns, but as I said, that up temple, what it did for me in my journey, like I have yeah, to I have yeah. to keep uh, that, that memory. A, I, I I can respect that. Well the gr- yeah, the grilling's sure. over, but the grilling's over, but we still got to do a couple of other things, which is... All right, cool. <laughs> I hate this part. I hate I this love, part, I this. Rich. I, I hate this part, too. I don't, I don't believe you. What do you... I love... No, I love Lou's Shoes or Dump. I hate this part. Go ahead, bro. What's, what's this part? Go ahead, bro. Gas station sneakers, right? Or gas uh, station and gas station anything, right? What was you know? Subject? Do you know gas station sneakers? I don't. Nah. Oh, okay, don't. Cool. Go so on, it might be a southern thing. Okay. But here in the south, in rural, I can't even. Rural. 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 Sneaker, whatever you want to put, what are you putting in that gas station? What would I put in there? Yeah, what, but mind you, nine and nine. yeah, mind you, because it's next to a gas station, you can just throw petrol over it and burn it. That's that's fine. But what you what you putting in there? <laughs> <laughs> gas station sneakers. So what yeah. shoe am I putting in there for twenty four ninety nine? No, no any, anything. Anything, any, it could be anything. a sneaker. It could be a brand. It could be a. A, topic. A oh, okay, I see what you, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, uh, what are you moving to the gas station today? I want to take Chris Gibbs to the gas station, but he already. He, he already <laughs> oh, hold up. So I, can, so I can take it in there and burn down the gas station? Yeah, of course. That's the whole principle. If you like oh, fire. So I could put, I'm trying to think what I don't like. <laughs> she... hey. uh, I'm trying to think what? what I don't like. Ooh, you know all right. I don't, and I don't even got a particular model. I'm gonna get a lot of flack for this shit, but whatever. So I'm putting 
all of them fucking Asics and shit that these motherfuckers the- be wearing. Ooh. In, in the gas station. <laughs> Yo. So I'm burn, putting in there. Baby, burn, Yo. Burn. <laughs> Yo. That's crazy. And then we just that, torching that, that motherfucker. That jail, that jail Cayano 14 that y'all ran around acting like y'all love so much. What he said. in there. It's in there. It's in uh, there. Hey, uh, you, jail lights. I'm all for, I'm, I'm, all for, I'm, I'm, for, I'm all for jail lights. I ain't gonna front. I ain't got none. But I ain't mad at it. But y'all, y'all running around here with them bo- them boats, bro. If this was the nineties, we would be calling them boats, bro. And y'all tying yeah. them up tight too. Whew. Those are them. Those are them senior uh, citizen joints. Uh, I'm nasty. Okay. Nasty this, work. This is, that ain't that what y'all say out there? Nasty work, bro. <laughs> this is a hot take. Um, I, and uh, a lot of people have a lot of hot takes, but I I kind of believe in the next five years. The dad sneakers or the dad trend sneakers, or the big bulkier sneakers, I don't think they'll be around. Like, like oh, they're not. They're, I definitely not. The I people that's hyping the people that's hyping them up ain't fresh enough to even pull I, it I, off. I'm, 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 I'm even talking about New Balance. It's going to come to a nuance. No, no, hundred like, no, percent. that's all going to be gone. Yeah, gone. I think so. I, I, I kind of think like at this moment in time, people are peaking, and once the peak's gone, people are like, well, we've seen it already. I, yeah, I truly like believe that's coming. It's. It's yeah, and it's funny because the A6 thing I said, and I'm like I said, we even have we got arguments back so and forth what? about them shits, and it's so just like what I seen. Don't a, nobody I care about that, bro. Like we, yeah, we I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Don't. My bad. I, I brought I I brought it up because I, <laughs> before I came home, stopped at Subway to get my um my daughter's sandwich, and the chick was in there, and she's wearing these fucking A6, and I just got I just found myself getting upset. I don't even know why, like. <laughs> Just <laughs> did you, you know? Did, I, you order, did you put more? <laughs> did you put more um, uh, veg and meat on the actual sub uh, on, on the actual sub to compensate your your feelings? Yeah, I was, I was, I was upset. <laughs> like I looked at them and I was just more, more, mad. More, more, please, more, please. Yeah, I was just <laughs> more, mad. more, and please. I don't know, and I don't know because I just sat in traffic for an hour and a half. I don't know. I was. Oh no, that like, was it. That was, was dog. I was that, tight. That don't but help. It was, but see, that was icing on the cake. Like when yeah. I see them. I'm just like, why? Like, what the <laughs> fuck is it about these shoes? Like, I, I, I can't, I can't say, it's, I can't say it's icing on the cake. It's probably shit on the shoe, but you know, like, it's, it's yeah. It's, it's, like, <laughs> so I just brought. I'm just, I'm, I'm, yo. Like I said, <laughs> and no, and no knock to the individuals that rock them. It's just, it's just no, not for me. No, no. I, I see people wearing them, and I'm just like, why? Like, that's the first thing that pops in my head. I'm just like, why? You you know you know what I'm dumping in the gas station today? I had addition. I'm I'm dumping the whole not uh, Nocta um collaboration. Oh, they got a man yeah, they need to blow them shits up. You know <laughs> yo, they need to Yo, they need to they need to put yo, they need to put that shit. You know when they you know when they you know when they blow up like old casinos and shit? That's what they need that's what needs to happen what, with what, them. What what they actually need to do is rename that from certified lover boy to certified PDF instead. That would be there quite, you, quite a good thing go. to put on the there you, there, go. there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. They need to put that <laughs> shit in one of them buildings and need to fucking blow that shit up. You know when it just like <laughs> dude just fucking falls? You, you know, that's when they do they, it. They, 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 need, they don't need to be long in the gas station. They need to nah. go into the origin. They, they need to go to the ref- refinery in the sea and then burn it down. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> y'all, boy, y'all burning the oil tankers now. We're going too far. Yeah. <laughs> straight up, man. Yo, hey, yo for any uh, of like some shoes, I no knock against y'all. Y'all like them shits? More power to you, but real talk, yeah, those no. are going in the old casino when they demo that shit. They blow that motherfucker up. I'm gonna be in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, yo, bro, uh, they, they, there's so yo, many hidden meanings to that, that, that just, flow. No, y'all should be honored. That man just put y'all in the movie with Robert De Niro and Bill Pesci. You know? <laughs> yeah, <There we> go. <laughs> <laughs> y'all was in the scene where they <laughs> where they turn out. <laughs> you know, no, you, you know, you know the scene when Robert De Niro gets into his car and, that and it turns the fucking key. Yeah, 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 yeah that's y'all. Yeah. <laughs> That's y'all. Y'all better that, stop that, for the for the cop blowing for real now. That that literally is what ha- what happened to Drake. 
<laughs> Literally, bro. Facts, bro, facts. bro, bro. Facts, stop, right, cool, stop. Cool, cool, Rich, cool, cool, don't cool. and do not encourage this, Rich. Please, do, don't encourage. We talk about. School, I know that we doing good. We do. No, we you gonna, live in Canada. Back, yeah. We understand now. We understand we now. You live back, in yeah. Canada. You were born bro, there, like, sure. You're rich, bro. but you're, that you're, don't rich, count. Rich, rich. You from the bro. U.S. You was raised in the U.S. You one of us. That's you from home. New York, the home, home. Uh, Jersey, home. the home, home of hip hop, and we That's understand that Kendrick is hip hop. It ain't no like we ain't got to do all that on this episode. Is that TJ that's creeping up on you, bro. TJ, TJ, <laughs> TJ. We ain't got to do Yo. that. No, no, we will. So we will. We will reserve that energy for the people that's yeah. from Canada for yes. real. Yes, and I want to cap it off just to say sorry. That was an assassination, what we witnessed. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to yeah, leave yeah, it at yeah. that. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, but, la- but last last little segment before we go into the quick strikes. <clears throat> I, I want to say, um, Rich, this, this, this segment is a slightly new. It's called... Um, Sneaker crack commandments. So give us one of the sneaker <laughs> crack commandments. What what do you have to abide by in terms of sneaker crack? Yo, commandments? you know, you know what's mad funny? And I, fuck, I don't even know if I could access it. I actually wrote, I did this shit years ago. Oh, I wrote shame it. So so shame so Biggie, it. so Biggie, so Biggie's 10 crack commandments. I made a sneaker version of that shit. It's so funny. Not that you to, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Not to be <laughs> used without express written consent of the Shoot Dog Podcast. Also, not to be used without express written consent of In Case We Trust Rich. Grail status go. 13. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yeah. you go. Um, hold up. I'm just gonna go on my screen. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull one of them out. So let me give me one sec. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Go, go. Mm-hmm. But, I got uh, one. But, I got one. Oh, you guys can still hear. You guys can still hear me too. Can you see? Yeah, me as well? yeah, yeah. We right. can, yeah, we, we got can, you. We, okay. So, uh, I got one. Yeah, thou shalt not use Walmart shoe polish to put <laughs> white or black paint on your sneakers. <laughs> that's a no no. Yo, that is yo. That's nasty by the way, work right That's an old school no no. Oh, by the way, isn't there isn't there a company? Well, there's a. I'm not going to name the company, but there are recently a company is actually Kiwi. Introduced. I'll say it. Kiwi. Is it Ki- no, no, Kiwi? That Kiwi shit. It's... Yes, Ki- over here is Kiwi. It's a red okay. logo with a silhouette and the word a silhouette of a of of an animal, some type of animal, and it's Kiwi. I, I think it's Kiwi. Why do I think Crip protected it? No. Nah. I'm talking about from the '90s, bro. Like since I can remember trying to repair my shoes, it's leather, regular like leather shoe polish, and yeah. black and white. And if I I remember having white Air Force Ones, trying to f- f- clean up, trying to fix my white Air Force Ones. Yeah, like I'm this. These were like the. These were the first, one of the first pairs of Air Force Ones, all white Air Force Ones that had the lace Dubrays with just the swoosh mm-hmm. on it. It was a, it was like an oval shaped Dubray with the swoosh on it, all white. Not the jewel swoosh, but it was around the jewel. No, I did have the jewel swoosh. I had the all white lows with the jewel swoosh. That's what I had. But by the way, bro, 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 you ain't gonna believe this. I found our crack moments. <laughs> Oh, you guys have okay. one? <laughs> we, we we did what we did a live uh, back in the day oh, in 20, uh, 2022, right? What? Where me, me, yeah, me, me, okay, I and know now. Cam. Now you, 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 I don't, I don't, I think, I think we. This is just on the verge that we were getting to know each other, bro. Um, but basically, no, it's 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 older than that. I think it's twenty twenty, maybe potentially twenty twenty. Me, yeah, me, I we, I yeah. keep. Yeah, because we we kept updating it and we kept making new ones and adding to them. One of them is um, crack commandment do's it crack, crack crack commandments do's and don'ts. Don't buy sneakers based on hype, right? Yeah, that's yeah. That was Always. so once. Go ahead. Yeah, that's the easy one. That the, the uh, five, num- Go ahead. Sorry. Go on. Sorry, go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, Rich. No, I was just gonna say the one. The one I have, um, which is number five. So mine was just like never, never cop a kick for the hype. It's always best to cop what yeah. you like. Exactly. So, and Facts. that's 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 crazy because 
My <laughs> motto is buy what you like, rock what you yep. like. What you like. Yep. Um, I'll, 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 I'll name a couple of few here. Um, always have a budget. That's that's a crack of moment. Um, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of v- VNDSs. Um, don't panic buy. And also, last but not least, I've there's loads more. I've got like maybe yeah, panic buying. 30. Panic buying is is tough. Yeah, that me. shit is that shit is a, a hole, a rabbit hole. Yeah, so you yeah. Gotta be careful and on also. That. The seven day rule. Uh, this is one of the most important crack commandments. Sleep on it. Seven day rule. If you, I like that. If seven? you basically seven day, yeah, bro. If you if you're hyped Shh. about a sneaker, if and it comes out and you can't get it, sleep on it without buying the resale for it because basically. Is it going to be the same? If you are you, if you got the same energy seven days later, buy it. If you ain't got the same energy seven days later, then I would say you might not be the sneaker that you want. Now I might oh, have the same you, energy for seven at least seven days. It won't be resale energy though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Yeah, and I'll just give you one more too. I have from this joint. So I, this was the number eight on the ten crack commandments. So it's never brag about the heat you keep. You should always let your kick speak. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. 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 Uh, Facts. Um, that's big. That's big because that's bro. a problem. That's a problem. That's that's going into uh one of the crit strikes too. Let's go. Um uh I'm j- I'm just gonna say last but not least, money in the pocket doesn't mean you need to spend it, even though it feels itchy. Ah, like that. <laughs> that ain't even a sneaker bro. thing. That's not even a sneaker thing, uh, yo, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm like, you're rich. You like us. You think like us. Is absolutely dope to me. We person that, that you, which is great. We, I, I did not know somebody has actually done uh, some, some. Yeah, some, I did, some yeah. The done. Ten, ten, he, kick, ten kick commandments is what I called. It. It can't, it, my mind can't be ten. Mine's, mine's up to twenty five at the moment. <laughs> Too many bad habits, bro. <laughs> We might need to collab or something on this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. Let's 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 move on to what we here to normally do is uh, no, actual quick strikes. Be quick strikes down real quick. Yeah, bro. let's. Because a couple yeah, of them they gonna roll. Come first one up is uh, Supreme. Supreme basically have uh, recently been brought out by. Let me just go and bring up. Uh, well, in the background, just the topic. So it looks like Supreme's just been brought out by El El Alessio Lux. I can't even say it's some bloody Alessio Lux Luxtoria. Um, let me see if I can bring it up. Two seconds. Uh, CNN. Um, I would share this. Hold on. If CNN Sorry. reporting it, then it's pretty official. So uh, basically, it looks like Supreme's just been bought out for one point five million, which uh, four years ago they were bought out for. Oh, they were bought out for two point one million, which they've lost around six hundred million in um, kind of uh, value. In terms of what what it was sold back four years ago to what it is now, which is crazy, bro. Like in terms of yeah, what's that's crazy. Doing. Billion, so, you said million is it's a B. No, no, no. They were they were bought for two point one billion uh, four years ago, and then they've sold for one point five billion recently. So they've lost six hundred million in in terms right. of value. Now yeah. You said million off the top. Oh, sorry, sorry, that, that's my bad. But they've been bought, bought by this Italian company, um, Electro Lux, Lux Toy Car. I can't even say it properly. Uh, you know how bad I am with with, with names. But yeah, announced, Luxotica. this was announced as Exotico. So, so basically, Excelsior, it was Excelsior Luxotica. Luxotica. That's the one. Uh, and it was announced on Wednesday, and basically, Supreme have been sold. What do you, what you reckon the future for Supreme is now? That's weird, bro. Cause it, I thought it was weird too. Just sounded, it just seems a bit weird, but I don't know. I don't know what 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 do you, what do you guys feel that's gonna do for the brand? Like, what do you think? Because even when they sold it originally, right, it was a little like, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, uh, it's it's all weird with them. Like, what I mean, they still doing it. Like, I still sort of, I still like Supreme. So the official statement from Supreme is basically they said they perfectly aligns with the innovation and development journey, offering us a, a direct connection to the audience, language, and creativity. I, I don't, I don't believe that that, that does that. It's going to change, I, I, bro. Yeah, um, if it's, it's bought by a talent company, they can't. A, a Supreme, if it changes, it's going to die. Mm. Supreme. So, so this this is my take, and I'm gonna be done. Supreme 
is one of the streetwear brands that still has a lot of uh, movement. Supreme still holds a lot of cultural equity. A lot, a lot of cultural equity. Um, <clears throat> I still hold Supreme at a high regard. Uh, I know what uh, they go, go, sorry, the sorry. the selling and reselling of the company could potentially lead towards discreditation. I when, agree. As soon as they do something or start doing things, not something. But if they do two, three, because the Supreme been crushing it this summer. Like they dropping collections week, week apart, two weeks apart, and 80%, 70, 80% of it selling out. Like it's, you know, like like ain't nothing mm-hmm. wrong. And then they sold for less than they sold for less than a decade ago. Like it's yeah, it's just crazy. I, I, I'm gonna Don't I'm seem gonna right, man. I'm going to basically say what this article says. They um, better keep giving me my 90s Nike basketball shoes. They facts, better do that. Uh, or it's facts. over. I, it's over for me. I, I think it's over, bro. Like, I'm going to read this. I'm going to leave it with you guys because I I, I kind of... It, done being brought out by an Italian company, I thought they were going to bring luxury and, and quality but Let's I'm going to read Supreme I, is not a luxury paper. company. Bro. No, I know. We don't. I know, we don't need. We don't need no luxury flair coming from Supreme. We need T-shirts. We need button ups. We need hoodies, and we need Nike collabs. We need so, hats so, and socks and draws from Hanes. Hanes. <laughs> you can go it. to Walmart. You can go buy Hanes from the dollar store, bro. Supreme. We need cereal. We need novelty <laughs> products. We need pencil sharpeners. And, need bricks. And, and bricks. <laughs> we need bricks. We don't need so, no luxury nothing, bro. Let, let, let we me, we me. said we said on this part several episodes ago, mischief took direct supervision from Supreme. Am I lying, Rich? I believe that. I believe that. I mean, look at what Mischief's done in the past yeah, be- few years. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. And look at Supreme. That's a blueprint. Yeah. I, I it's, like, it's, it's like it's like it's like you trying to you trying to be a rapper and all you listen to is Jay Z. Good job. Yeah. M- M- Mischief has surpassed Supreme. I, I, with what they're doing in terms of their releases, their uh, limited stuff, their, their actual, oh, buy, come do this, we'll give you a gift card, buy this. Oh, bro, like the, the, if you go to, to Mischief's website and look at what they're doing, it's so much more complex than just releasing what they what we see when they release. It's so much complex. They it's, it's, the next, it's the next evolution. Supreme the, Index. The, I, but yeah, I, let me let me just leave yeah, this read quote the, with yeah, you. Re, yeah, read the quote. So, so ba- basically, the, uh, the article alludes to the fact that the company that's bought the Supreme isn't a well known to shoppers, but the glasses the glasses the company makes are in in terms of collectibles, inclu- including Oliver Peoples, Ray Bans, Oakley, and um, it also includes Chanel, Coach, and Dolce and Cabana. So, I know exactly what route they're going to take. It, 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 the more I'm reading this article, sounds um, like a wrap. The, Bro, this is this Supreme is now going to be moving towards the high end brands, high end um, designer of wear. It it literally is taking a new new look, and it might not be a good look either. It's not a good look. I mean, with that sale, it's just not a good look. But I'm I'm curious to see what what happens with it. But I'm not hopeful. Like when I seen that, mm. I thought that was a little bit weird. Um, mm. But I mean, as we you know, as as we know how shit goes, it's kind of what happens. Unfortunate. Yep. Yeah, um, I, I still remember. I still remember pre-COVID, the, the whole hype beast phase when people said, "Yeah, oh, hype beast, hype beast," and everybody's wearing Supreme. We're we're far away from that. We're not. Oh, that's gone. Yeah, that's yeah, that's we, gone. We're, 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 we're not. We're not there anymore. We're not there that's, anymore. That's gone. Dor- 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 the, stuff, the stuff. St- the stuff still sell out, bro. I yeah. look every time they drop. I look. Um, the no, this no, this shit still moves. Yeah, this shit still moves. Hundred percent. It'll, it'll, it'll be di- it'll be different. It'll be different if the price moves, and, and that's what I was gonna, and that's what I was gonna say. It's moving because of the price point. Now, yep. these people step in. The luxury shit comes in with. I mean, well, when they did the whole Louis Vuitton thing, two people were still buying that shit. Motherfuckers is but killing themselves to collapse. get that stuff. But, I, but, I, I, but, I, but the price point didn't really stop a lot of people. They were still buying that price. shit. 
Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying collabs, collabs. Because Supreme is Supreme. Supreme is respected. Supreme is a staple in streetwear. All right, so um, let me let me let me give you a example. Hold on, two sec, sorry, sorry, hold, on hold on, because hold because we got to get off this. Yeah, but um, what I'm saying is, they have to still let the people who are in control be in control. They can't come in and start trying to interject the corporate fuckery. That's when it's going. Yeah, go but back. you know, but you know, that's what's going to happen, right? Like that's just the, that's the, just the, what the it fact, is. The fact that they said they're not well renowned. Means they know what Warwick. what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. No, well, no, when no, you no, say no, that, no, 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 no. It's, it's it's even worse than that. It's even worse than that, bro. You, you you the fact that they said they're not well known, but they're known for other things, just alludes to the fact that they're using Supreme to actually get their name. To get there, and the, to get and the only reason, the only reason we're talking about this right now is because it's Supreme. Supreme, that we care yeah, about. yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, I, I'll, I'll give you a prime example of what recently happened in terms of just before we close this out. We've seen Timberlands are doing a Louis Vuitton collaboration. And we, when we talk about that, we're talking about the prices being uh, for the Tims that the Louis Vuitton Tims is going to be in excess of 2K. None of us, are, none of us are going to go for that in terms of, uh, in terms, in terms of the, the design of where, like in terms of trying to uh, attain like a Louis Vuitton. No, I'm, uh, bro, bro, I'm going to tell you, you right have, now. You got to stop, Rich. Don't let him speak these spells on us. No, no. I was going to say this is what, what he's doing. About, this he's what I'm speaking. About the no, no, no. You're speaking a spell of of <laughs> of price rises on Supreme products. That's what you're doing. Stop. We shall see. I mean, shall see. I mean the right the writing's on the wall. But no, it's I'm not. Gonna, I'm, just... I'm, I'm going to tell you this. I would never, in a million fucking years, pay two k for a pair of fucking Tims. I'm going to tell you right now. Timberland stays in the rotation. I'll be wearing Tim's. So I tell my kids I'm gonna be an old ass man rocking Tim's still. That's just a staple for us. Being yeah, from the yeah, east, yeah. especially New York, I'm not paying 2K for fucking Timberland boots. Never. Them tangerines regular. I'm good. So, you ain't the first. You ain't the first up, up northerner. I didn't hear say that. Yeah. So yeah, I stand with yeah. you on that. I ain't no Tim guy. You know so. Right. I would never shit. It'd be hard for me to pay uh, retail for Tim's when I look at it. And they fresh. <laughs> they be fresh. And and I know I know I could pull them off. I done had a I done had a couple pair of Tim's before. I had I had yeah. some black suede. I had the black suede's, the uh six inches. I yeah. I I rock them. I rock them hard all through the city. Let's too. go. I was a rapper yeah. too at the time. Uh, Let's uh, go. Active rapper. <laughs> but uh, that was, yeah, man. That was I can't do dope. that. I'm old. My that was a look though. <laughs> okay, uh-huh. next next quick strike. We're moving on to is basically Sue Surgeon is uh, um, mm, 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 owes sixty million to Nike apparently. Oh, they're, they're taking him to court. They're yeah, they trying to, yeah, they trying to yeah they they trying to they trying to put that man under. My gosh, when I seen that, I was like, holy shit. Uh, but by 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 the way, Rich, I, I I can look at this from both sides because I do I. Do a lot of custom. I used to do a lot of customs. I still love doing customs for people. So I, I sit on both fences. When I actually saw this article, I felt sorry for a Sue Surgeon um, because he worked with Nike before. But I think Nike's got a point in a way. What's the point? No, they got they they got they got a point. It's it's one thing. All right. So when I when I seen it. I kind of, I really don't pay attention to that stuff because I'm just like, man, probably did some shit. But you're working with Nike, right? That's cool. And you know, when you're working with somebody, especially a big company where they're paying you, I'm pretty sure they're paying you, there are guidelines and things that you need to follow. Now, said company, if you're taking their shit and doing other shit with it, said company is not happy. I don't know what he thought was going to happen by doing that, but now he's finding out. So, so, so I don't. So, 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 what type of fight is this? What, what's the, what's the, what's the subject of this? This fight? is fucking. This is fucking Mike Tyson punch out. This that. This that little motherfucker. In, no, no, in no. The ring. I, no, I'm saying like, what's the, what's the point? What's the reason? What is, what is Nike oh, saying for, he did wrong? Oh, okay. Did you, Go ahead, go, go, go ahead, go ahead, TJ. No, so, so what what they're alluding to at this moment in time is basically you the 
the whole conception from Nike is you're profiteering from our brand. You're, you're, we, what, what they, what they actually, when you read the article, they, they literally say, right, we don't mind you doing the little one off knockoff. No, not one off. We, we don't mind you doing the, the one off collab The customer. Cost, the cost knock off. You say knock off. You say knock off. I'm I, I'm I'm based that. That's, no, knock that's off the way is acceptable. It, knock off is yeah, acceptable. For, because for basically, the, the, way, the way, yeah, the way they stated that statement leads me to say that because the way Nike phrased it, it sounds like it's a knockoff. So basically, they say we we don't mind you doing the one offs for our athletes and artists and all that stuff, and one offs for yourself. But once you commercialize it and start charging start people. Selling and start selling it on a, w- a wide basis we don't agree with that the fact that you're using our brand to make a business we don't agree with that the fact that you're actually teaching other people to dilute yeah. our, our intellectual property we don't like that as it basically is nike turning around saying we don't like what you're doing that, and that that's my ip man that's basically what they're saying yeah that, so he got last he got he got Jordan one last. He got and the four there's, there's, last. There's rumors um, right this moment in time that Sue Surgeon has sold. So, you, know, you can buy uh, Sue Surgeon lost. No 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 no, no 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 Ain't no yeah. You can go to the website and buy as a regular person. Yeah, and and I the, went the to the website and yeah. saw that Jordan four camo that Fat Joe had on IG and Twitter and every, excuse me everywhere else. He had it and he was flexing it. And I went to the shoe surgeon website because sure enough, it was a link. And you can go there and buy that sneaker. Now, yeah. there would only be maybe two or three, or depending on when you looked at when I looked at it, it said it was like four size elevens. Mm-hmm. And you can go on there and pay it was like twenty four, twenty five hundred. I think it might have been more, might have been less, but it was at least a couple thousand dollars that you could pay and get your pair of that sneaker that you saw Fat Joe wearing on the tour bus yeah. on Instagram. See, see, with Nike, they're saying we don't mind you do that. We don't mind if you do that for Fat Joe. We don't mind if you do that for artists and stuff like that because you're promoting your you are promoting the Nike brand with, through these artists because when these artists wear it because people look at these artists and say yo i like that i want that and then it gives a nike initiative to actually kind of produce something in a similar vein what they don't like is the fact that what sue surgeon's done off the back of that is create a business and a brand based on what nike's doing what the inner the inner customizer in me is very sad right because we've talked this talked about the sue surgeon countless times on this in in the past and i said he belongs with nike he needs to get a job with nike because yeah, we his said creative that. style we said that loads bro his creative style he's what he does how he does it and what he produces is absolutely beautiful you all these high level creators that. should have a space with some some brand yeah. somewhere somehow it would and it would then, help all the brands yeah, and this is why I'm sad as a customizer because the Sue Surgeon is absolutely top tier customizing, right? Facts. He like, he deserves to be with with. Yeah, he is a customizer. That gives, yeah, but but and the, the but the the Nike person in me is like, yeah, like yeah, I can understand why Nike's done that. I under, I I can understand why Nike shut that down, but. I I truly believe my this is from my from my per, personal opinion alone. I truly believe they'll come to a settlement because it's not only recently they've been contacting Sue Surgeon constantly over the time and say, look, don't do this, don't do this, we don't want you to do this, and now it's come to a head. I truly believe they're gonna give night they're gonna come to a settlement, whatever the settlement is, and I hope, I pray they hire him. I pray they say, look, come in house, we want you. Dang on. What we'll say you, Rich? Uh, I agree. I think they're going to settle. Um, I think they have a relationship there too. So I think their hands are kind of tied a bit. I think they, I think, I personally think that they spoke to him about like what he was doing. Um, just have, because it, of the, just it, in ahead, the sorry. lawsuit, they, they're basically, in the yeah. lawsuit, they, they said we have sorry, countless they, times. Yeah, yeah, that they spoke with him. So I'll say, yeah, I think I read it the other day. So they were talking with him, and I think because of the relationship. Um, and sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I think they're going to settle it outside of court. 
That's that's my opinion. But as you said, TJ, I I think that they should bring him in house. Yeah, I, I think, I think I, I for some reason, like I don't know why I feel this way, but for some reason, I think they're gonna. Sh- I think they want to make an example of him so that it stops other people doing what he's doing. Facts. But then then say, look, we needed to do this to show set an example, but we'd Definitely. love to have you in in house. And if that if that happens, it's gonna be magnificent because you're gonna like like we said before in the podcast, you're gonna create a separate lane for for upscaled luxury PEs like you said Q you actually mentioned that the shoe surgeon should be working on PEs on, on, yeah he on should ups. be the PE guy yeah. for yeah. the Nike for the Nike athletes he exactly, should be the PE yeah. guy when when we see every year the uh the, un, the Nike uh college teams that are sponsored when the PEs drop every year and we all drooling and looking stupid because we know we're going to never get none of them unless we pay thousands of dollars or we know somebody that go to or work at one of them universities. Shout out to everybody that got them type of plugs, too. I ain't hating. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, the average sneakerhead, when we see them them photos, on I, I still remember that Florida Gators Jordan 5 from a couple of years ago. But, but can, can you imagine? But, uh, <laughs> can you, can if you imagine? The shoe, the shoe surgeon... Was in the P, they already be five. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say his first name, Dominic, the shoe surgeon. Yep. Bro, five. I don't like everything he do, but he could have kept them ego with the trash. Yeah, that was a paycheck, bro. That was, a, that was it. Was a another one, it was another one before that. It was a big sponsorship with a, with a brand, and he made some trash for them too, similar to the ego. Not similar aesthetically, but just as trash at the egos. He'll do that because he getting deals. He getting he getting big work. You know, he coming up in in the world. He's a staple in the sneaker culture. Nike can use that. Nike can use his cachet. Nike can use his name as a collaborator, just yeah. as they use the other. You know, the Amamayers and the Travises and the Ninas and the and whoever else. You know, the corporates and the they we collabing with Pata and we going overseas and we we collabing with all these different brands and artists. Why not collab with these guys that clearly have an affinity for the company, and we gonna roll right into the next quick strike too to end it off. Yeah. Um. um but 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 before, the, before these guys we that have an affinity give, for the company. That yeah. that give me emulate. give me one give me one sex give me one sec, fellas. I just gotta get my my charger. I'm gonna plug it in because I'm on like yeah, for sure percent. So y'all talk talking on. I'm listening. Yeah, but but basically, one one thing that really worries me is um, if that doesn't happen, I hope he doesn't dilute the brand or dilute um, to get quick money to actually pay for the compensation that he's getting sued by Nike. I hope that doesn't happen because it'll be a tragedy if that does happen. Um, but also, I don't see how that that wouldn't be that wouldn't be viable anyway because yeah, yeah. But his, I, his, I hope his, we don't his brand. Ego, like we, you know what I'm saying, what he's niche. Saying? Yeah, he's yeah. niche. He not he not selling thousands of units at a time. Yeah. He's selling probably at the max low hundreds because he making you know one of ones and and limited runs and whatnot. You you, you know also also I'm definitely gonna say this right right this moment in time. Anybody that's got opening up a um, how to make sneakers workshop all of that stuff customizing trying to make a brand off the off the actual um, nike or any trademark or adidas or whatever you do this is the this is the new thing this this is what's going to happen like no, none no. of these companies want you to make none of these companies want uh, want you to make um money off no. their off their trademark and no That's, it's, it's, I, nah. I ain't rolling with that I, I do, bro. I do believe that. Like you, what, what, what you, what you do as a com- as a company. Hear me out. As, as a company, when you go, when you see that you don't like people doing certain things with your trademark or your IP, what do you do? You go for the biggest person. You go for the biggest customizer. You go for the biggest, um, tr- like trademark. It's not the same. No, no, listen to what you're saying. You're saying big, big, big. You said big yeah. is three times. So you said, right? but yeah, but Hold you set an example. Hold on. You. you Hold on. Go on. When I look at Instagram and I see these uh, customization shops, yep. Nike ain't studying them. 
So you got you got to cut when you say all these and all those. It's not all these and all those. Okay. It's the people that are trying to create product based on the product that's uh intellectual property. Okay. It's not the it's not the I'm not going to believe at this point in time that Nike is going to come after um this customization place cuz they popping up here and there throughout the US and they they pretty popular these these destinations they pop, where popular in the UK. Yeah. Where you can the places where you can go and customize sneakers. Mhm. Nike ain't studying them, bro. Bro, Nike they, Nike ain't studying no. You, you you know what you know what why I'd, I kind of slightly disagree with you. No, I actually massively disagree with you. They name they named the whole process of what he's done, how he's f- filtered down the brands through his workshops, through his customizations, through his last suits, all of that stuff. They listed that, bro. Nike specifically specifically listed teaching, that. Teaching people how to make sneakers versus teaching people how to customize sneakers is two totally different things. Bro, they, they, Nike said you you basically used our trademark and actually told told other people to make uh, a diluted version of a Nike or a knockoff of the Nike. They listed that, bro, in the in the actual lawsuit. That just leads me to believe that they shine anything down that you're doing with a Nike shoe in terms of customer, in terms of teaching other people to start a business with the Nike brand and using their actual IP. So they want you. They too. are. Hmm? They want you too. <laughs> Bro, uh, all I'll do is put color on a sneaker to change the color, and that's personal. That's what I'm as, saying. As soon, These, yeah, yeah. You're not listening to what I'm talking. You obviously don't as know what I'm talking I, about. As, no, no. As soon as I start selling it and mass quantity, that's me done. Nike. As soon as I become, it becomes bigger than it is. Agree to disagree. I'm done. Agree to disagree. This is this is the reason. That's the main reason why we ain't got to explain them all. Agree to disagree. As soon as I make one penny of um, Nike, they're coming after me. It ain't about making a penny. It's about intellectual property. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I'm talking about. Because if it's about making a penny, it'll be a lot worse than what it is right now. Because yeah, a lot of true, people true. making money off customization. Mm-hmm. It, custom shops ain't ain't new. And, and by the way, I, what what I didn't allude to as well, and this comes back to the Dior and the Tiffany when they released the Dior ones and the Tiffany Air Force ones, that shoe, the shoe surgeon actually did variations of that and sold it. They did, they weren't happy with that either. And uh, in addition, they did also quote in that actual lawsuit that you didn't have the rights or the uh, or the actual permission to use any of our high end brands with their sneakers. Because they're trying to protect that collaboration route now as well. So is it custom or is it fake? Oh, that's the next quick strike, bro. <laughs> that ain't the next quick strike. This is all one one big topic. Is it custom or is it fake? Because that's well, that's what we've been that's what we've been sitting here arguing. So so because so, so it's let, easy let, it's 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 easy to argue the fake side of the comp of the conversation. If so, it's not manufactured by the said company with the with yeah. the name, you know, if it's not affiliated, if Nike didn't say, "Hey, this uh, TJ Factory, Rich Factory, and Q Factory, y'all make these sneakers, make these many sneakers per, you know, hey Q, you make twenty thousand, Rich, you make twenty five, TJ, you made thirty. If Nike didn't tell your factory to make this amount of sneakers, if you make more and they don't say, all right, we'll take those. That's fake, right? Yeah. That's, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's no, UA they, is they, fake. They, is UA unauthorized. Is, it, it's unauthorized. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's, let's, let's kind of break down the meaning between unauthorized and fake because there's, there's two separate meanings right no, and a lot shit. of people uh, no no there, there is two separate meanings unauthorized sneakers are not verified sneakers in terms of what nike accept as they might uh, some some people allude to this but they might have the same materials they might have nike they might have the nike materials hell. yeah That's yeah it's completely so but, but the reason no, why, the reason, no, no, no. I'm no, talking no, no, to no, you no. and don't don't bypass it don't bypass it well, it's convoluted because if nike say 
What you mean if Nike say? If it was made under their authority, it's real, whether it's worthy of sale or not. Yeah, it's real. Let me let me let me let me let me just break it down to Ain't talking about B grades or no 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 all that's still official. Let let me let me just get my point across and it'll make sense. Right. Unauthorized is fake. That's the point. No, 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 no. The reason why, the reason why Nike, and if you re- if you read a lawsuit, quote, the Sioux surgeon is making unauthorized sneakers, is the fact that they, even though the materials are real, the 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 Dior materials are real, the Gucci materials are real, you use real materials from real companies to produce a sneaker that's unauthorized, yes. unlicensed. It's fake. It's fake this, Nike. It's not fake leather. It's not yeah, fake it's, patent it's, leather. It's yeah, not fake it's suede. Fake yeah. It's fake Nike. So it's fake. Yeah. Unauthorized okay. equals fake. Unauthorized okay. does not equal custom. Fake does not equal custom. Yeah. And I'm, what, what, what I'm trying to get at is the, there's other there's other companies out there, well, there's other factories out there that don't even use the same materials and don't use the same build. And so, so those are a subsector of the of the actual fake. I, I I'm I'm talking the same thing as you are, bro. Like we we're talking about the same thing. It's on un, if it's, it's not, unauthorized, but it's, but it's, it's not to be it's like, not to be separated or broken down. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, that's exactly. the problem that we had a while back when we were under attack by these goofs, by these suckers yeah. and squares. They try to make the differentiations separate. It's not separate. No, no, no. It's not, Customs it's not. are not fake, and fake fakes are not custom. Yeah, yeah. Because y'all being cracked down on. Fake the fakes. Go ahead, Rich. Uh, but, I think Rich is coming out. But, but if, just, if you are... It, go, 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 Rich, go. No, no, go, go, go. Because I'm, I'm gonna go where my no, reception is better. Because I'm cutting out. Do, do. The only, the only reason why I had to break it down is because basically people always want to have that conversation. But I agree with you, Q. If it's not registered by by Nike or any of the high end brands, it's fake. Simple as it is fake. And if you come on this uh, on any platform and say that your ua is a custom then you are stupid that's all i'm saying right because <laughs> at, at the end at the end of the day first of all and this is why i took the angle i took first of all if it's not if it's not using the real material and uh, not using the real material oh, like not using authorized materials by Nike because you don't know what Nike use and uh, you, you you're relying on a company that actually produces them and you call them customs then you are stupid and basically what I'm going to say to you guys is if it's not a registered trademark company and it's not sold by Nike and this is why they said the shoe surgeon was selling UA unauthorized sneakers is because it's not a product that they have released officially and you claim that you like bro even claiming that a ua is a custom you are stupid because you didn't even buy the sneaker from the retailer because you that's how you customize sneakers you bought it from the uas you bought it from a knockoff factory i'm gonna call you stupid simple as simple as <laughs> how, like how can you justify anything else bro how can you justify that you bought this sneaker for 20 dollars off a factory somewhere in asia and you say it came from nike because it's it's a custom and it should be legitimized you definitely are stupid simple that's what i got to say bro that's what i got to say um this is this is the reason why i broke this is the reason why i broke down unauthorized and fake because when 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 you when you say it's fake it's definitely fake it's 100 percent fake nothing is real you might you might buy material you might buy a jordan one or jordan four and you might buy the dior and gucci and all of that stuff and you put it on the sneaker to make it like what you want it because you customize it for yourself but it's still unauthorized because nike didn't sell it so there's a little bit of, yes, yeah, legit, but it's frowned upon. But when you get it from a factory and you call and you say that, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a custom because it, it come it's out of a factory and they customize it. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's the same thing. I should be able to do a sneaker battle. Oh, man. 
Uh, there's only one word for this. Stupid. So talk some sense <laughs> when you want to come and do that. I told you. I, oh, I told, I told you, bro. I told you, bro. I had I had a soundboard for you today. Okay. That's it. <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is going too far. <laughs> Hey, Rich, Rich, you know, Rich has got three switches today, basically, Rich, outside, I got, inside, man, and outside. <laughs> man, my, this, this phone, this phone charge, this shit is killing me. And then I went, I went downstairs <laughs> and the reception is awful. I tell my daughter, I'm like, I'm like, go downstairs for me. You know, I got this thing. She's like, the Wi-Fi is not good downstairs. I'm just like, that's why I'm up here. Like, shit. Right. <laughs> bro, 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 just, just to add that, that the charging situation is stupid. <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> I went to use it one man. last time. All right, cool. Um, shall we? Yeah, shall we go and do? Shall we go and do what we always have to do every week, bro? Because that's the best part of the show. Yeah, we only. I only came for one thing. Yeah, yeah, go on, bro. <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. These damn hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Guilty. Welcome back to Sneaker Court. Cool. Welcome me. back to Sneaker Court. Cool. Yo, bro, this, we love the reaction from other people. Um, when, when, when they actually... <laughs> Welcome back to Sneaker Court cool of Public Opinion. With me, Judge Public Opinion and Execute. Emphasizing the Q. Shiner. And today we have um, Rich on as well uh, as one of the, uh, one of the actual. You could either bring a court case on. If you got anything, if you got anything that's irking you that you want to bring to court today. I, I think we exhausted Rich with the uh, with with the gas station sneaker topic. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't expect like we don't we don't we don't send guests uh, topics like if y'all don't know what we're gonna do you'll find out when, when you get here. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. We, we love to surprise. We love to surprise guests. So um, you got anything, brother? Excitement. You want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add to the excitement. Um, we might have lost Rich for a little bit, for a little bit, but no. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take one one court case. Guilty, um, Nike. Uh, what are you doing, guys? Like, KD is your uh, lifetime athlete, contract athlete. What are you doing, guys? Like, why is he not in your new commercial? Have you have you seen the new commercial from Nike, bro? Winning isn't for everybody. Video. I told y'all, bro. I've seen it. I've seen it. I K- told KD. y'all when we was talking with Miller, bro. These athletes. They doing what they want to do now. The top tier <laughs> athletes, he might not have wanted to be a part of that campaign. Bro, K- KD pretty much posted four hours before we went started recording and said, what have I done wrong? Do you like it, not like me? <laughs> so the, the, qu- the question is, what, is, what has KD done wrong? It's Cap. That was one of his burner accounts. <laughs> <laughs> no, bro, he's, he's been reported as KD. <laughs> so um, I, I just need to know, Nike, was KD run wrong that you actually, you know, there's, there's, what has he done wrong? Like, what has he done to upset you guys because you didn't actually feature KD in the actual um, uh, new video and winning isn't for everybody? Like, are you, are you, are you kind of caught in that KD isn't a winner? Mm? No. It's not. I know, and I'm just. I'm KD just ain't won but... nothing in a long time. <laughs> Yo, KD, KD, KD let me down when he went to Golden State, man. Hey, hey, but um, it is what it is, bro. Um, I'm just gonna say. <laughs> Guilty, Nike, please feature KD on your videos going forward because he loves you guys. <laughs> Anything else KD you guys 17 is hard, though. KD 17 <laughs> is hard. I saw I know, him, I that same Foot Locker that I went to and saw them uh, Dion's on the shelf. I actually picked up the KD 17. Mm. Um, I like them. I was, the 17s are nice. The 17s are nice. 
Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, I was tempted. I was tempted to get that Metro pair just for Atlanta, but I don't think I would have worn it. The bl- oh, by the way, the blinks are coming. The blinks are coming out here. Yeah. Hey, I might, I might need to go and check that out. But yeah, um, anything you want to add to that, bro? <laughs> I was, I was laughing at you. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. 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 Yeah, I'm not going to Hopefully he can uh, finish his career the way he want to. That's like yeah, I said about that. Hundred percent. Um, if you can get rich back, or do you want to just call sneaker court? Like, rich, have you got a case that you want to bring forward to to the court? <laughs> I mean, you got, devious, you got a devious smile, which which means you might have something. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't want to beat the A6 dead horse. So I'm gonna let it die. Um, okay, cool. Just bring it. Just bring it. Just bring it. Just bring it. Don't worry. <laughs> guilty, gone. Go. What, what's, what's, what's your what's your gripe, bro? Yeah, no, y'all, y'all all guilty. No, y'all all guilty for following this dash shoe trend to the end, bro. Because really, <laughs> the the dash shoe wave has lasted for a long time. Kanye kind of popped it. Um, but it's 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 too much now. Like everything is extra banana. Every shoe that's coming out now is that people gravitating to is extra banana, bro. Mm. Them Jail Kayano fourteens, A six Jail Kayano fourteens is banana, man. And y'all y'all trying to act like it's okay. It's not okay. You you yeah. know what? Sometimes it makes me wonder. If the brands are actually trolling us to see how far they can take it, hundred <laughs> percent. Let's give them something different. Maybe, maybe they still buy it. You never know, bro. Um, what, what's the what's the verdict? What is the verdict? Go on, go on, Rich. You give us the verdict. What's the sentence? Hundred years plus life. <laughs> That's all you get to wear. That's all you get to wear for the rest of your life now. See, you see what y'all done did? Rich done sentence y'all, condemn y'all. Y'all get every, every day when you wake up and open your closet, all you got is that one pair of Jill Cayanos, and they're going to be brand new every time you see them. Every it don't matter time. how much mud, it don't matter how much dirt, how much mud, how much whatever you go through for the next, till you die, because ain't nobody living for the next hundred. Unless they were the born way, yesterday. By the way, you didn't peep what Rich just what Rich just did. He just did Infinity Plus One. He just made those uh, the Asics your soul shoes. You're going to heaven with them. <laughs> yeah, you talking about <laughs> when resale is too high. Damn resale. Hold on, hold on. When hype beats go too far. Do that hype beats. Order, order in the court, order. When the back door opens. Guilty. It's time for order in the court. The sneaker court of public Guilty. opinion. Hey, welcome. That was a. Uh, Nice little court case there. K- like Nike need to stop upsetting KD and people need to stop wearing ASICs. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Yo, yo, they they gonna hate us, man. They gonna hate us. Who cares? Bro. They already do. Oh, I, I don't care. What's that bar? Love it or hate it, the underdogs, underdogs on top. Hey, don't worry, bro. Don't worry. Yo, <laughs> the demographic is a demographic, bro. And if... If you think we're serious, you should laugh more. Yeah. Because <laughs> it really exactly. don't matter. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right, cool. Let, let's get into some... Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way. I, I haven't done this in a little while, so I'll, I'll rack one off for you today. Oh, shit. So is that Sus files, just the last one. Sus files. I'm gonna basically we we call out sus activity here, bro. Uh, sus file for today is, um, I'm looking at you oddly if you're a sneakerhead and you follow UA accounts. Sorry. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's nasty work, bro. 
if you ever, ever shout out a UA plug, you have been excommunicated from the authentic community. There you go. Sus files today. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get in some last minute discount topics, bro. Let's go. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got a decent little list. I got about six. All um, right, let's wrap these off. Jaw. Yeah. He bike. Jaw bike. Bike. Nike Jaw two. Uh, it's a purple com- uh, colorway coming. I like it. I literally, I literally thought you were gonna say Nike and Nike Jaw bike air. <laughs> <laughs> Nike Air Job Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Yo, I got a, I got a, I got a question for y'all. That you bring that up. How do y'all feel about that pair? I like it, bro. For basketball. What, oh. the, what, what, what the bike air? The oh, bike, the bike air. Bike air. Yeah. You talking about the fours, the RM fours? I hold on, hold on, hold on. Here was here was my question too. Do you consider them a Jordan four? Yeah, very. Let, let, let me let, let, let me just get my pillow. There you go. That's how I feel. <laughs> I'll sleep. With I'll a sleep, green bro. hoodie on. With a green hoodie on. By the way, yeah. I like them. Oh, yeah. I put one raffle. I put in one raffle. <clears throat> um, so and by the way, I'm, if I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't yeah. care. Um. By the way, if Nike think that's the next thing for them, they got another thing coming. <laughs> So you don't want to join three RM? Never mind. See spells. <laughs> I'll be talking about spells, and then I throw a spell out there. That's a bad spell. I rebuke that <laughs> statement. But um, the Jordan, Jordan, if they do a Jordan three RM, it might be totally banging. Stop, you never see? know, bro. Stop! I rebuke the spell. Rebuke it. Rebuke it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Next up, bro. <laughs> Odell Beckham took the L versus Nike. Just like hey. uh, most of the other litigants, I thought he won the. I thought he won the suit. I thought he won it. I, won nah, it. He lo- he I, I, I think. I, I think it's a lot. Of, it's been branded as a even win, but by both. Some people are saying Odell oh, won. Some people say Nike won. The narrative on socials is Nike this, had to pay nothing. Yeah, so and so did the, uh, no, but was, but was that Odell nothing, Beckham? But was the nothing the twenty million he was suing for? No, that, that's found, the question. There was no breach of contract. Okay, that's what because it wasn't behalf. when I seen. Yeah, when I seen the thing, it didn't clarify yeah, if they had to no, pay him what they were supposed to, and he didn't get that twenty mil. No, there was no breach okay. of contract. They say okay. uh, the 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 jury, the judge and jury ruled that Odell had um, done everything he needed to do, and they paid everything they needed to pay. Okay, so. Well, no, it's it's in the court now. It's it's out there. So yeah, I go read. If I'm wrong, put it in the comments or or DM me or whatever. I don't care. Uh, (laughs) Next up, Harden Volume Nine. E. It looks real foamy. Even positive, even. Okay. I'm gonna just say that. Comments? No. All right. That's discount. <laughs> Retro clothing. Get ready. Oh, you, you, this is terrible. Go on, bro. Get ready. Go on. I ain't got nothing to say. Get ready. Okay, cool. They want it. <laughs> they act like they want it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Nike's Don't come they. for your head top. Nike's come for your head top. 100%. They act like Nike's they want it, right? Top. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Trash. Uh, Travis T Rex Solar Red. Yes. Oh, bro, that's on my list. <laughs> yes. That is dope. No, no, no. Yes. Very dope. Very dope. Very dope. Very dope. I love. I love. Yes. Uh, bro, I, I think I think he showcased them in the UK as well. He did a concert in in the UK, and he had them on. I would not. I won't talk about it no more. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh. <laughs> also, Travis Phil Jacks. Oh, Le- Leechy Blue. You seen that? Isn't that the? S- nah, I haven't seen those. It's the Spiridon. It's a Spiridon. Yeah, they, they re- renamed nah, it. Nah, I haven't they? seen those. Oh my goodness! Field Jacks, Travis Field Jacks. Look that up. Yeah, I'm gonna uh-huh. check that out. Uh, and last but not least, from me, 
we will be getting an Air Jordan 1 low OG game royal. That is white, blue, and black. Ooh. Move around. Get out my face. Get out my way. <laughs> That's a uh, sneaker. Go- that's that's when you see that, you're looking at yeah. a sneaker, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I got I got one last one. Jason Tatum is basically releasing a low, which is inspired by Chris Paul's low um, and Zion's voodoo lows, which is going to be quite interesting to see. So let's see what happens with that. What? Say that again. So Jason Tatum is releasing a Jordan One low, which is inspired by Chris- you know remember Chris Paul's low. I remember his, yeah. Yeah, the all, the all white variation of that Jordan yeah. low, and also oh okay 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 the, a Jordan one, yeah, yeah Jordan one low, uh, and it's also supposed to be inspired by the Zion um, uh, voodoo low, which is gonna be quite interesting to see what what color matches they do with that. Um, I think Man. it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna, I think it's gonna be dope. But yeah, yeah but that was uh, yeah, but that's uh, that's the discounts for today, guys. And that's the podcast for today. That was a podcast for today. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely job, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. We got to get back under two hours because I be getting sick of this. Um, <laughs> you getting sick of this? He's always sick of this. Every week he's sick of this. So I'm sick of this. Sick of this. Oh, I hate it here. I really do. Oh <laughs> uh, no! That's why you come back every week, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't don't try to attack me with logic. That ain't what I came here for. <laughs> No logic here. We didn't come here for logic. <laughs> Disconnect the you got logic. It, you got it fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we appreciate the big dog. The nah, I appreciate, appreciate y'all, man. Hey. My, I wish my phone was, my battery was cooperating better, man. Kind of fucked up. Oh, you know, I was here, oh, bro, we I was here, ch- we, I was here we chilling, it, man. Dude. We still potted it. We yeah. probably we came we came did it and we pause. Oh man, that sounds nasty. <laughs> we parted it. I'm gonna just say we parted it. That's and it. Nah, I'm, it's I'm sorry, good. It's, it's no, it's good to chop it up with you, bro. That's all I want. Nah, man, I, I I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. This was fun. I even go in front. This shit was fun. Like y'all just yeah. had me in my in my element. TJ, salute to you, yeah. man. Like you definitely definitely a personality, yo. But I love it. I love it, man. I just what? love the energy. I love the energy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that, you need to elaborate there. What'd you call me a person? No, 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 no. He don't I'm need saying. to elaborate. He don't need to elaborate. Don't be trying to pressure this man at the end of the pot. You had two hours no. to try to pressure this man. <laughs> and we, and a per- good job we did with it. <laughs> You did, you did, See? you did, man. You have, you have, See? Me, you, have me you already got your pressure on. You trying to add extra pressure to the pressure that already been applied. Bro, this you're is over pressure, pressure, man. You don't want to come back if you're over pressure. <laughs> Damn. Not Let's wait until the next Rich. episode. Nah, this was, this was, all jokes aside, this was dope. And yeah, if y'all ever need me to come back, definitely like this. Oh, is, we, we, this we, was we fun, will man. definitely have you back. This was awesome. This, I'm going to say this is awesome. Uh, it's good good to meet you, Rich. Um, I've followed you. I've literally followed you on Instagram before uh, we started the pod. And um, yeah, yeah, man. man. I'll, I'll give you that follow I'll back. I'll be in contact. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, uh, well, whatever you need to do, you do. But, um, uh, it's all, it's all love from, uh, from my, my side as well. It's, it's awesome to meet amazing people in the community. And let's just say the conversation this week was absolutely dope. Absolutely dope. Loved yeah, it. man. Look, it's y'all, good. y'all lock in. Y'all lock in with Grail Status 13, man. Epic. Yes, totals. sir. Yep, yes, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. 100%. Yo, them, them, gro- them grocery store pictures, bro. I be thinking about the balls. Like I'm sitting there looking at the girl store pitch. Like, do I got the balls to go do that? Do I want to? It just seems so cool, pitch. bro. Not yeah, sure. man. In kicks we trust. Was it? I can't do acronyms. I ain't good at acronyms. I K W T underscore Rich. Right. Yeah. 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 That's Grail me status on. thirteen. That is thirteen. Yes, sir. Yeah. And I just want to shout there. out, and I want to shout out the team. Salute to my team, man, over at Inkicks You Trust. Check yeah, out the pod. 100%. Yeah, check the pod out. Um, it's Apple, time. right? Apple Pods? Apple, yes. Yeah, it's on Apple. Um, but as well. by the way, Rich, I, I feel sorry for you now. I'm going to be honest. You're part of the family. You, there's no getting away from us now. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I'm a family person. I'm a family person, man. So... <laughs> Thank you. Oh, open arms, man. So, nah, pre- yeah. appreciate you guys, man. Appreciate you guys, TJ. Like I said, great meeting you. And we definitely gonna have to. We going. We gonna double back. We gotta get you on. 
So oh yeah, yeah, anytime, I'll, I'll, anytime. I'll, de- I'll definitely be in. I'll out. definitely be in touch. Cross platforming. Yes, case, sir. We yeah. trust shoe dogs. <laughs> we already building. You already know. And I'm gonna say this here too. We we got for. I'm gonna close it out with this. But our pod, we're 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 toying around with something, an idea um, of some takeover episodes. So I would love down the road, you and TJ. We gonna give you our platform. This this kind of what we're we're doing with it, you know, different groups, I, and they they I, take I over take over our pod, man. I don't think you might want that smoke, bro. Oh no, I do, <laughs> I do, I do. I do. You don't man. know what he so, asked me for. Yeah, you man. Know. But like, this, yo, this, yo, this is this is what this is what it is, man. So it's just something that you know in the future we we will be um you know tapping in with individuals. So. But TJ, like I said, we'll tap. We're definitely gonna tap in with you. Yeah, know, yeah, get your story and all that jazz. Hundred um, percent. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna warn you, bro. Like, Q will vouch for this. What you see and what you hear is what you, you get all Nothing. the time. Oh, <laughs> it's easy, look, we all what, 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 what you see, what you see, what you hear, what you get in real life is what you see, what you get in real life. I'm, I'm here, literally like here this. for it. Here for it, man. <laughs> but you got, yo, what salute to y'all both, man. I, I appreciate this. This was a blast. So thank you. No worries, bro. Go, go, Q. Call it, call it. It's time we call it, bro. Hey, man. <laughs> we around the world with this thing. You feel me? Y'all know how we get down, bro. We appreciate everybody. Uh, if you didn't get shouted out this episode, I apologize. We, did we, never mind. Um, <laughs> Shoe Dog Podcast. <laughs> what was that, bro? Episode. What you talking about? I'm shutting you down the show, a, bro. You literally did a U-turn in one moment. Hey, man. Brains. <laughs> go, go. Sorry, sorry, bro. Uh, Shoot Dog Podcast, episode 125. 125. Featuring the bro. Rich, by way of up north, east coast, U.S., Jersey, New York, in case we trust, Toronto, far enough away to not be in y'all way, because y'all be tripping. I see. You know what I'm saying? My boy TJ, it's me. Y'all know me. I talk too much. Uh, Have a great day. Have a great week. Great month. And a great remainder of the year. You know what I'm talking about? And buy what you like. Rock what you like. Buy what you like. Rock your kicks. Don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype, hype ain't real. <laughs> hey, it's not. It's really. And I'm gonna I'm close. I'm gonna close it with this. They not like us. <laughs> <laughs> they not. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, this is great, bro. Just, that's epic. That's epic. I love that. Go hey, I know you do. We know you do. Hey, <laughs> sneakers don't make you cool. That's it. Ah, remember that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need hold to get on. a t-shirt. I need to get a t-shirt. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We gotta say it again though. Okay. Appreciate that, Rich. Not to be used without the suppression ring consider the shoot dog podcast. It will be on T Public shortly. By the time y'all see this episode, it'll be on there. Appreciate that good idea, Rich. Uh sneakers don't make you cool. You make the sneakers hey, cool. Remember that. That's it. Remember that. Remember that. And fellas. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, TJ. No, 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 no. I just wanted to say this. A la croissant. <laughs> I had to do it. I haven't had it in ages. I had not shout to you, Ian. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs>